Hello everyone out there who is watching uh, via social media. Welcome back to Best Bet Live Jacksonville where we have a 2-2 No Limit Hold'em deep stat cash game in store for you guys tonight. First of all, I would like to hope and wish that all of you enjoyed your Thanksgiving and all of the holiday festivities and hopefully all of you are safe. With that out of the way, I also would like to direct your attention to the nine, one seat, excuse me, uh, where we have poker vlogging royalty in the chair uh one of the many vloggers out here but one of the true good ones um harry b poker he is joining our table tonight and he's going to be having some fun i'm a personal watcher of his channel love watching his good content so shouts out to harry b poker and once again and probably for the seventh time thanks for joining us and playing tonight uh also ryan you got anything for the people before right, we get rolling? just saying what's up hopefully you guys are having a good Night, I had a good day, to say the least, and uh, sit back, relax, enjoy some 2-2 No Limit Hold'em Deep Stack action tonight. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, uh, especially with Harry on the table and with Chase making trips here on the river against JDP, and it looks like JDP is going to try to rep the exact hand that Chase has. Chase is going to look him up, and uh, there's really nothing here to see other than uh, JDP putting his hand in the cookie jar, and he sees the goods. Mm -hmm. Um so, like I said, we do have a good stream in store for you guys today. It's been uh, a wonderful day. Uh, I saw Harry coming. I was like, hey, man, I know you. Felt like I've seen you. It's like, you look familiar. You look familiar. <laughs> and then I realized, I'm like, well, first of all, damn you tall. And second, I watch all your vlogs, man. You're, you're, you're a super cool guy. And he's uh, also sporting a man bun tonight, so, you know. The man bun is a lost art. He's, 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 he's here for business. I don't have much real estate to really work with a man. I can't, <laughs> no. I can't do anything. Uh, but also, we got a lot of fun players on this table with Harry who are looking to have a lot of fun. As you can see, you got Free Willy in the sixth seat, the owner in the seventh seat. You got Chris in the eight. And we'll go ahead and go around. Uh, fun fact, he is the owner because he owned a card shop. Oh. For uh, many years. Okay. Uh, so he, he's actually, we have we have a ton of mutual friends that I didn't realize we did. Nice. Uh, Tori, what's going on? Is this the Tori I think it is? I'm pretty sure it is. Absolutely. So, yeah, we got Harry B with Pocket Queens. Aaron B is right behind with Ace-5. So, yeah, Harry's not going to be out to uh, play any games tonight. He's going to be playing it pretty standard. But uh, JDP is just the wild card that we need on this table. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, JDP, I know he plays a lot of different games um, from No Limit to even, like, the Pot Limit games and stuff he like that. He plays it all. He, he yeah, it all. he is. He If there's cards somewhere, JDP is going to be there. Oh, uh, So that's a uh, – that's not a good flop for either players. No. Lots of black cards, and you have an over card if you're Harry. Uh, if you're JDP, you have squat. You don't have anything. It is indeed, Tori. How are you? Oh, that's a good turn card, though. Ooh, okay. Picks up the open ender. The board is still a little scary, though. You got two flush draws out there. and uh, I think Harry might want to put a little bit in the pot, though. You don't want any of those possible flush draws getting in for cheap. So yeah. there's the bet there from him right on schedule. Makes me look smart when I say stuff that's like that. Yeah. He does it, right? Makes me like I know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, but, wow, JDP facing to 150. Yeah, he's going to put pressure on him. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it'll work because there aren't really too many two-pair hands. Mm -mm. Like, King-9, eh. Uh, King-9, he probably bets the flop. He never checks. Uh, so you maybe think flush draws, sets that slow played it, maybe. Uh, but either those uh, lead up to the point I don't think Harry can fold. I think he might just have to make the call. He blocks king queen, ace queen probably three bets you, or ace queen probably four bets you. Um, yeah, so it looks like he's gonna make the call. Yeah, good call there. Yeah. How you doing, Tori? I hope your day's going well. Sit back and relax and enjoy, as Ryan said here. Mm -hmm. If you're in for five minutes, if you're in for fifty minutes, uh, hopefully you enjoy your time in here. And the seven pairs the board. 
So I don't think there's an amount that JDP can bet. I mean, Harry has 300 behind, but right. I mean, he could put him into the blender here to make a tough decision, but yeah, he says you got it. So this clip here, we're probably going to use this for the vlog. Yeah. Uh, or he's going to probably use it for his vlog, mm -hmm. and that's just having a right having the right read on the situation. Yeah. Uh, the, the the check raise on the turn looked interesting. Yeah. Uh, but nonetheless, Harry didn't want to fold his over pair. Knew where he was. Figured he didn't have a king, uh, and he made the right read, and he gets paid to the maximum unless his opponent bet into him. So. Yeah, and it scoops up a nice uh, pot here to start off the night, too. Yeah, second hand of the night. Harry mm -hmm. B's already mixing it up. I enjoy seeing that. And JDP is, once again, a resilient enough player that he's not deterred by by, by losing a no. pot like that. Mm -mm. As you mentioned, he plays so many different games here in the room that this is – this is a, just a nice little walk in the park for him. He's right. Himself. Yeah, it's just the beginning of the night, to say the least, you know? Exactly. Just the beginning of the night. Okay, and he just bumps it up with 7-5 of hearts. So he's keeping the range a little wide. Doesn't want people to think he's a tight wad. He's not. And there's JDP. <laughs> All right, yep. Top off. Absolutely. Is that Caleb? What's going on, my friend? Nicholas Shady's back. I like it. I wouldn't say free money. Um, only because I've seen JDP in some situations on this stream run it up here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we got Jack 8 versus Queen 8. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about free money. Like I said, we got a whole lot of night left. Yeah, 100%. Especially with this just starting. Oh, both Ooh. players have nothing. Both players have something. And uh, Queen 8 does beat Jack 8. Slightly outkicked. What? What? <laughs> JD says absolutely not. <laughs> uh, I will take. <laughs> what is the normal buy ins for a 2 2 deep table? So, I mean, it. the word deep might be a little, a little bit of a misconception, but mm -hmm. per our room buy-ins uh if you're out in live cash the buy-in is between 40 and 300 dollars. for this game we bump it up to 500 so right that's kind of where the deep comes into play right um, minimum 100 uh, max 500 even then uh, with the buy-in being 500 these the effective stacks at the table do get rather deep so mm -hmm. i think maybe an hour or two hours into the night you know you might have a stack in the upwards of 1500 two thousand dollars right Right, so with the owner having ace ten suited here, is Harry the only pro playing? Um, so I kind of I I I really never know how to answer that question because I feel like it's uh, it's a kind of a vague question in a sense no, too it's, because well, well yeah but also I don't want to like step into mud right know, yeah where, that too yeah 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 where I'm like you know Harry's a pro but I would <laughs> also consider every other player at the table a pro in their own respects right um. There is a lot of different definitions for what a poker pro is, mm -hmm. but either way, I, I think they're all they're all pros in my book. Right. I know that might be taking the high road and taking the easy way out, but I have dealt to, played with, or have had a nice conversation with all these players at the table, so I think they're all pros in my book. So we have a pro versus pro versus pro situation where <laughs> uh, JDP is going to go ahead and just ship it all in here. Short stacks with king, queen of spades. The owner has ace, ten of clubs, and is in between a rock and a hard place. Right. And this, uh, the only thing about it is that if he calls, Aaron could potentially ship, and that's going to put him in a tough spot. And I think Aaron might do exactly what he feared most, and that might be go all in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all three players haven't suited hands. <laughs> and there and, it is. Yeah, and there's gonna go that's, on as well. That's, yep. that's the worst news the owner could ever hear. Uh, because that's the that's the fear is that you flat that and that you essentially are now surrendering that 128 because you have to ask yourself is my hand strong enough mm -hmm. 
And I think he should have made the decision. I don't know if he did or not, but I think before he put that 127 in, yeah. he should have made the, the decision, am I going to be able to put the rest in because I could be committed mm -hmm. to, to putting the rest in. Absolutely. Uh, I'm going to mispronounce his first name of your handle. Jahasha? Uh, if you mean playing poker for a living, I would still think that most of the players here are a pro. And if using using your definition, maybe not Paul. Uh, Paul tends to come to have fun, yeah. get a drink, and hang out. Paul yeah. is absolutely amazing. He's fun. Uh, he's a local reg. We call him Pittsburgh, Paul. Yep. Um, and so, yeah. All right, the owner says, yeah, my hand's good enough to get it in. So we're going to have a three-way all-in. I'm going to shut it down. Mm -hmm. You can turn him up a little bit. We'll get a run out. And uh, we'll have some fun with it. So you got roughly 783 out there. Everyone's all in. Lots of Broadway cards. Let's see what kind of flop we get. Probably all little cards. All right, Jerry, you're all into the main right there. You guys are heads up on the side spot. Don't worry about that. That's the end. We got no more action. Ready, Bill? Oh. Jack. Who's a diamond? Wow, uh, he, gets it. Yeah. he gets it. No good. He says no good, but there is a side pot yeah, in which Ace King is going to take down the side. So Aaron is going to make a little bit of money, but JDP is going to win the lion's share of that hand. Uh, with the Ace ten of diamonds, I probably find the fold mm -hmm. when it's one twenty seven to me, because, like I mentioned, you got you got Aaron behind, right? For fear of him shipping it, I'm not even going to put the 127 in. You know, it's, it's still his action. If the owner is in position, then you'll have a better feel of the hand. But being out of position there, not knowing what your opponent is going to do behind, I probably fold there so I don't have my one – because the 127 is just like – you know he looked at He's like, damn, like that's that's my money out there. Those, those are my kids yeah. <laughs> unattended to. Like I need to be a father right now and defend them. And, and he got his money in. And you see his kids are getting shipped over to JDP and Aaron. Nah, he, he Jordan memed those kids. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you know what I'm talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> That's still one of the funniest videos ever made. <laughs> uh, but Chase is also going to pick up two ladies. So that overpair is going to make its rounds. And now Aaron, I think he might have looked at his cards. And I think he's going to make a decision. Oh, okay, so I guess Aaron wants to make sure the pot's right, but we have very, very experienced dealers in the box. Oh, 100%. I can personally vouch uh, for all of our live stream dealers. They're very efficient. They're very good. Yeah. But as a player, you always want to make sure. Like, yeah, there's sure. There's nothing wrong with there's that. nothing either. wrong with asking. So. But we, we all oh, know Jacob. Oh, God, look at this. Chris has pocket kings. Yeah. I just Pocket kings for Chris. Chase with pocket queens. And he's, he, he three bets it. Yeah. Uh-oh. Are we going to get back-to-back? Player violence? Oh, man. And, guys, this night just started, too. This is, like, the fourth or fifth hand that we're going into. I wonder what Chase is going to do. You're in position. You might just be able to call and go to a flop. It would definitely minimize the amount that he could lose here. Mm -hmm. You never want to hear a four bet. You never want to do that. Uh, but it's a, such an extremely strong hand. Oh, God. All right, just turn them up. We're going to get there. We're going to get there, I promise. I just, We're going to get there. This is not good. I need everybody to just go ahead and say a nice little prayer for, mm -hmm. for Chase because he's going to need it. <clears throat> so Chase does do the ill-advised route. He does four-bet it to 160. Uh, I think now if you're Chris, you take into account SPR. You take into account how much you have if you make the call and – I think you realize how strong your hand is, and that one you're never folding, but maybe you're. Okay, he's just going to call. Can we get a queen in the window? Can we get a queen in the window? All right, I'm just shutting it right, down. Just right out of the gate, right? I'm shutting it down. I hope so. Oh. He's going to lose all his money. Yep. He's going to lose all his money. Mm. So the pot's 322. I mean, you either ship it or you just down bet big. You just down bet or you ship, right? Mm -hmm. you, you can't afford to bet, like, 150. Let's just see what he does. Oh, no. That looks like 152. That does. Like 125-ish. 
Yeah, 125, yep. God, Jesus. And now he's like, now, if you're Chris, with your hand, you're never folding, but you also know he isn't because he has, like, 200 back. Right. There it is. There it is. All in, yep. And there's the call. Oh. We're going to go to a run out. He's looking for a queen. Doesn't, Doesn't get, it. get it. What kind of mess does Jacob have going on here? <laughs> and that the bet there, that he bet sealed his fate. All in. <laughs> the boot just said, wow, it's going to be all in. Kings and queens, is that board? It's all in on both of them. <laughs> what Paul right, said. Adonis. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, Harry, we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. I'm at a table like that. I want to be a part. I want to be a part of it. Absolutely. Man, already. Yeah, and the night just started. I love we've, it. We've already seen. Uh, I love it. I love it. We've already seen some violence. Absolutely. I'm not dodging Twitch. I, I see y'all. I see y'all. Hmar, zero zero ten. How you doing, Frogman? <laughs> I regrettably do have to say hi to him too, right? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, I got to. Hey, how you doing, Frog Man? How you doing, buddy? You all right? <laughs> you, you, just, you, just, you just acknowledge. <laughs> Frogman acknowledged. Yeah. Um, Hatter's House 710 seems about right. Worst hand wins. Oh, yeah, the King Queen versus Ace King versus Ace 10. Yeah. That's just how. Yeah, that's just how it happens. Uh, poker is not a perfect game. That's why it's so interesting to watch, you know? Oh, yeah. You can, you can play poker correctly and still get absolutely ripped apart mm -hmm. still get smoked yeah that's the perfect way to put it just absolutely smoked yep <clears throat> so chris does have ace 10 suited this time oh yeah we got to set some over unders i forgot Ooh. frogman is keeping me on my toes tonight yeah you guys uh if you want in the respectable chats or the respective chats set your overs and unders on the biggest pot of the night i would love to see how this goes Oh, just one flop too late. There's the queen. Yeah, as I say. <laughs> Damn, if you're Chase, you just look absolutely disgusted. But he seems to be holding it together rather well. He's like, really? That's where it happens at? Dallas Proctor, North Carolina, checking in. Hey, Dallas, when are you playing on stream? Oh, wow. Mm. So Chris regrettably makes a straight. And what I mean by regrettably is that there are three diamonds on the board. Yeah. Uh, and he does not have a diamond at all in his hand. Okay, he's still going to bet. All right, so if you want, um, go ahead and punch those. Go ahead and punch those uh, over-unders into the chat, and then we'll set them. I like it, though. With how this is going, we'll say 1325. Normally, I would say like 950. That's exactly about where I would be. I mean, mm. numbers are a little skewed. Obviously, I can't perfectly guess those numbers, but around there, too, Frogman. Uh, you said 1617. I'm looking forward to it, man. I thought about you uh, today because I realized our 12 days of Christmas started, but I also realized that would be around the time you'd be in town. So yep. I look forward to meeting you, buddy, uh, when you get here. You know the name, so just ask for me. It doesn't matter where I'm at. Yep. If I'm dealing at a table, you got to come to me because, God forbid, I just get up out of the box. I probably <laughs> lose my job. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Yeah, they're like, hey, Adonis, uh, some guy up at the front, Dallas, is asking for you. I'm like, where? <laughs> Dallas? <laughs> just get up out of the box with my cards. Yeah. I won't be working anymore. Yep. And, yeah, you mentioned earlier, earlier, yep, we're right around the corner from the uh, 12 days of Christmas, our biggest promotion by far. Over 200000 yes, I mm -hmm. said $200,000 in high-hand promotions given away. Yep. No strings attached. It all starts on December 12th, Sunday, December 12th, right at 12 p.m. is the first day. If so you, If you want to get some Christmas shopping done. If you want a little help getting some Christmas gifts this year, yeah, uh, a nice little high hand will do just that. Absolutely. And also something a little different. Oh, wait a minute here. Yeah, I know. I see uh, Free Willy. Ooh, wait a I minute. I loved that movie as a kid. But Free Willy 
is, is looking to free himself from the owner's clutches mm -hmm. because he might think he has a, a rather chokehold on this hand, but now nah, King Six here is going to be rather well. I think Free Willy might want to bump it up. Flush draws are available. You don't want your opponent to uh, get there with straight draws, flush draws. Mm -hmm. How much did he make it? Made it okay. 60. He raises 60. Okay. Oh, boy. The owner's drawing thin here. If I'm him, I want to see a spade, or I might want to see... I mean, you, you want to see the good cards like a 10 or a king. Right. But you definitely want to see a spade. That's a face card, but that's a jack. Oh, that's going to freeze the action. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Free Willy says absolutely not. 100. Nice. <laughs> yep, I'll see you in seven days, buddy. I can't wait, man. You're always in the chat, and I I just wore that shirt. He Man, he brought he brought us this really, really cool shirt. Mm -hmm. Um, It's just an amazing, like a fuchsia-colored shirt. Oh, okay. Me and Jordan got one, and... I wore it the other day. Super appreciative, man. Anything you guys do for me, uh, your presence is enough. But the fact that you guys go out of your way to do nice things for Absolutely. me, always. I'm just uh, I'm a little bit of an emotional guy. So mm -hmm. they, know to, they know how to pull out the art strings. So if I'm the owner, that's one of the worst cards in the deck. Uh, I would like to think his ways of improving now shrink drastically. Flush gets there. Bigger two pair gets there. Everything just gets there. So yeah. he makes the correct fold there. It's hard to fold top pair, but that board is not conducive for any top pair holdings. No. Also, where my manners, I meant to ask how everybody's doing in poker. Um, because, well, I always like to check on you guys. You guys are like my family. I like to make sure you guys are doing good. We got the Thanksgiving festivities out of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, so let me know how you guys are doing in poker and what's going on. So Sean says... Uh, what up, guys? Played a little 150 tournament yesterday with the $25 bounty. I knocked out five players and finished fourth for 600. Good night. Then played today and gave back 400. But how you doing? I'm doing good, Ryan. Well, Ryan actually has some uh, has some other duties to attend to tomorrow. Yeah. Tell yeah. me about it, Ryan. Tell me a little bit so, about um, it. So it's going to be my last year doing this, but uh, tomorrow I leave for Orlando for a uh, – a big fighting game tournament, so yeah. esports, video game stuff. Uh, I'm on staff for an event called CEO Community Effort Orlando. Mm -hmm. um, they hold a big tournament every year. Uh, this year, taking place at the Wyndham on Air Natural Drive. If you've been to Orlando, you probably know which Wyndham uh, I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, I leave tomorrow morning and uh, we'll be over there till Monday. So gonna be a fun time i've been part of that staff for six years and uh yeah it'll be, it'll be my last fun. one doing it so oh harry flop middle set here yeah, he did wow damn harry only oh, turns the boat they're drawing dead oh no wow, i mean yeah, no yeah, this yeah. isn't bad like nobody has anything he's right. not gonna get much <laughs> right the 14 dollars in the pot but mm -hmm. damn i mean he's running good yeah 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 it won't be a like you said it probably won't be too much here no because um, they're all gonna fold it up yep yeah, and before anyone is like esports, like what? Mm -hmm. Right now, presently, there's some kid out there below the age of 17 who has 16 million dollars to his name because of esports. Yep, <coughs> exactly. The kid yeah. that won the uh, Fortnite tournament. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, poker is doing well in Virginia Beach. I used to live there uh, when I was a child. Virginia Beach, Virginia. My dad was stationed there. Really nice place to live. Uh, but I'm glad you're doing well out there. Mason, do you guys have any events to raise funds for childhood cancer? Uh, we do have a charity tournament tomorrow. Uh, I need to look up the specifics. I did read over it. Um, but also, in the 2C, Aaron B, um, he has terminal cancer. Yeah. He has bone cancer. Uh, but he also gave me this wonderful uh, little informational card here about the Grind for Life organization. And what that is is it's an organization to provide financial assistance to cancer patients and their families when traveling long distances to doctors and hospitals. In addition, we educate and inspire these patients and families concerning cancer survival and recovery. Uh, I guess if you do feel like making a donation, you can head to grindforlife.org. Um, there's this really cool graphic of, I'm guessing, a yeah, two-time cancer survivor, Mike Rogers, just grinding it up on... Uh, it, it's, it's some skateboarding, so it's a wonderful organization. Uh, is that Caleb? Not sure if you know the answer to this, Donnie, but why is it best bet on Pro, Bravo Live? I do know the answer to that. Uh, 
actually Bravo charges a hefty fee apparently to list uh, your respective poker rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, we are on Poker Atlas and we do have our own uh, function on our website that allows you to track our games, our lists at both of our locations. Uh, so if you're looking to see what kind of games we have open, what kind of tables we have open, you can head to our website, bestbetjacks.com. We do have an active tables tab that will show you how many are on the list and what games are running. Mm -hmm. No problem, Mason, for the info. If you guys have any more questions about grindforlife.org, I'll be more than happy to answer to the best of my ability, and I'll probably plug it a few more times because this is just a really, really cool uh, organization, and what they do is obviously amazing. Absolutely. Any senior tournaments? We haven't really had many senior tournaments. Uh, we have plenty of seniors that play in our tournaments. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's probably the better way to answer yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't know if that helps you any, but uh, Dennis Bergeron, I would like to consider. He's one of our homie seniors. He has the personality of a 25-year-old, but yeah, he just recently made our final table in our Haymaker Ooh. tournament series about a week and a half ago. So uh, there are plenty of tournaments that definitely, you know, or interest, interesting for seniors. And I believe this month we do, actually the day before our 12 Days of Christmas starts up, we do have a tournament that is going to be taking place, uh, the Best Bet 500. So it looks like Harry's going to get himself involved here with Free Willy, and Free Willy has flopped the King High Flush draw, and Harry is doing that bluff thing. So far, so good until he got called. And then he just makes, well, no, 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 you're not the nuts because the board is paired, but a, a hand that's good enough not to fold. So if I'm Harry, uh, bad card on the turn. I don't know if I necessarily want to represent the diamonds. In this case, he it would be his worst nightmare to do that. Yeah, he's going to do it. He's going to give a little bit back here. And if I'm in my pay attention to Free Willy's face, mm -hmm. he might give you a little something, give you a little nugget of information. Ten hits a river. Any bet here, I throw my cards into the muck. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have jack high, so <laughs> you, you probably still want to just follow, but obviously. You've been had. Uh, the jig is up. And... But yeah, I'd tell you about that tournament that we are going to have on Saturday, December 11th. It is the best bet, 500. Um, $500 buy-in, 20K starting in chips, 30-minute levels, green flag. We'll drop at noon for that tournament. So. Figure with it being best bet, 500, drop a racing turn. That's a good example. I play queen six all the time, so I had to call Dusty. Travel four to go. So JDP is going to open 4-5 uh, suited up to 17 buckaroonies. And Aaron B says, no thank you. Mm. You can take my 4 and they keep going. Kind of bully, straw man, how did you end up doing? I dealt a straw man on a Sunday, maybe? Saturday? Oh, okay. Yeah, straw man had about... Was this... Uh, what game was it? 2-2. Two, two. Straw man had oh, about... Two, two. Yep. He had about 1,100 in 2-2. Two, two. He was ripping it up. Nice. He got into somewhat of a cooler situation while I was dealing. Oh. He flopped trips. His opponent also flopped trips, uh, but kicker played. So. Oh, got, I gotcha. Yeah, he got ripped up pretty bad. You got a $5 tip on the rail right there. Oh, you do? That's mine, I think. Exactly. He rolled over 
to go back around. Yeah, 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 y
here to be a threat again mid-December. Hey, my boy. I know you fly a lot, so if you do happen to be in town and you're on the live stream in December, you know your ass better say hi. And you better come over and check in with me so we can catch up. If you don't, we're going to have a problem. You want to know why? I've been, learn I've been learning survival tactics with Detroit Urban Survival Training. And it has been absolutely amazing. Detroit Urban Survival Training. Survival Training. Yeah, he has been the butt of Twitter jokes for about the past four days. Mm -hmm. uh, and he teaches you techniques on how to maintain survival. So, Slim Jim, if you do not come by and say what's up, I'm going to show you all that I've learned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as Chris here is going to flop middle pair. Aaron B, kind of in a tough spot. You got two over cards, but your eights are kind of too good to fold on a flop. Hell, you might even bet it if you're him. Yeah. Not protective services. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. It's so funny, though. He's just been doing it mm -hmm. all year long. Detroit Urban Survival Training. He'll teach you how to disarm people, disarm attack attackers with just about any. He teaches you how to use your cell phone as a weapon. Ah. A weapon. A cell phone right in the middle of the chest. Solarplex push. Dang. Detroit Urban Survival sounds, Training. Sounds, sounds about right. This guy's wild. Hey, man, show show some stats. I want to see how much Chris is up. Stats? I got you, my Yeah, man. Chris sitting over there with them glasses. Yeah. He ain't said much yet, man. I want to see how much he's up. There he is. Oh, yeah, he's up a pretty happy Sneaky fun. little. Yeah. Yep, I knew it. So Chris is up 747 jet. Uh, Harry up uh, $265, so not bad. Free Willie's up. The owner is stuck. Chase is stuck. Obviously, those two cooler situations. Uh, but... Other than that, everybody else is kind of middling, so yeah. not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, the owner right now, unfortunately, the renter right now. Yeah, he's going to be working to try to regain ownership of those chips that he, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say he gave it away, but definitely was a situation where it was tough, man. It was yeah. tough. I told Paul the Steelers suck, <laughs> and that's not an outlandish comment. Hey, did you see what happened in this past weekend? Got bumped. Damn right. Got thumped Bingo. by this by Cincinnati. Bengals put forty one on that ass. Mm -hmm. Um, Kevin, how are those Cowboys gonna be doing this week, man? You guys gonna still make the playoffs? I mean, your division is kind of locked. I am a Vikings fan. You damn right, Paul. You hear what he said? He knows better. I mean, we just lost to the Niners, but hey, we'll get into football later. Now it's time for poker because Chase has bumped up. Pocket eights made it a hundred bucks. JDP with ace queen, and a perplexing look. <laughs> that's, that's one way to call it. But he's gonna go all in again. This is like the third or fourth time he's gone all in tonight. Oh my God, he called. He did. That's a good flop for ace queen. Yeah, it is. Oh God, he got the gutter. Wow. On the river. Damn. He had outs on the flop. I didn't quite catch percentages on the flop, but I'd like to think they were about dead even. Gutter ball two overs against a pair. He probably had about, mm, he probably had a little bit above 35%, maybe 40 Wow. They're playing tomorrow. Washington is making a run. Yeah, Washington just beat um, who Washington beat on Sunday? They just outlasted them. Um, Seahawks. Yeah, Seattle. Even though it's a very beat up Seahawks team. Yeah, that's a very down year for Seattle. Yeah, you gotta stay healthy, man. Trust me, I know. Mm -hmm. I know. We just lost Dalvin Cook. I don't know for how long, but this stretch, we listen. I'm gonna be a numbers guy. We got a 45 percent chance of making the playoffs. I'm just gonna leave that there. Uh, Big Tex, I'm back from Texas. Those poker games out there are wild. Tex, man, text me, like right now, please. I mean, I'll start a conversation, but I need to know how you did. I need to know how your trip was, and I need to know how the hell you are, man. We haven't talked in a while. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen Big Tex in the it's chat. been like forever. Mm -hmm. So uh, text me, man. No pun intended. Uh, never <laughs> bet the under chase is about to be chasing those losses. You, you out of your damn mind. Yeah. That man is up a cool... <laughs> 747. Unless the wheels just fall off the side of the ride, I think he'll be okay. 
But maybe, but maybe oh, you no, know Chris, something I don't know. Chris is up 747. Yeah. Chase is down pretty bad right now. Oh, no, so you're right. Never yeah. bet the under. I'm sorry. Oh, and he has another good hand. And Harry has jacks. Turn him up. Turn him up, damn it. Turn him up. How much you have on? Two's gone for it. Well, yeah. three's gone. Three's for it. Six, two, seven. Keep in mind, he just went all in the last hand. <laughs> So via technicalities, he had three bucks behind, so he's technically not all in. But I don't think that's gonna matter much. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. So it's like he didn't have three dollars. Uh, yeah, I'm all in. So yeah, Holy damn! What the hell? That's a good hand. Three. Ooh, I hit the pair. I'm a junk lord. Oh, he has the ace of hearts. Jiggity. Wow, he had so many outs. He had two overs, the nut flush draw. If I'm Chase, I'm going home. Yeah. I'm not that resilient guy. Yeah. Don't call me a hero. You're hot dogging it tonight, man. Nice. Damn. And, and yeah, that was back to back hands. Chase has been beating up on bad. Damn, man. Yeah. If I'm Chase, I say, I can't say what I want to say, but. Uh -huh. You just said that. You said, I'm just stopping through. Like I said, turn him down a little bit. Oh, okay. Never bet the under was right. Never bet the under knew something I didn't because he said he was going to be chasing those losses. And, like, we hadn't even gotten here yet. We hadn't gotten here yet. So, never bet the under. Man, you're spot on uh, without a hiccup. And, I mean, man just takes a sip of his coffee and he's doing fine. You know? So, I, I appreciate and respect the level of calmness within Chase right now because he just stacked off ace versus ace queen, queen on the river. Jacks versus ace king, flops two overs, turns the nut flush draw, brick on the river. I would be outside pounding my fist against the steering wheel, screaming to the heavens, why? Why me? But nonetheless, he has reloaded. He's still in that chair. He's looking to recover from those losses. And the kid has nice hair. I'm not going to lie. He's kind of got that. Uh, he's kind of got the. Uh, what's his name? Jesus, I can't think of his name. Oh, my God. I'm drawing a blank. I'll think of it later. Yeah, I was trying to think of it, too. Jerry had six tray. Oh, was that a six on the river? <laughs> it was. That was a six on the river, wasn't yeah. it? What's that guy's name? I can't think of his name. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to look it up. Someone's, uh, someone on YouTube chat said it looks like Vector from Despicable Me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's kind of messed up. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ball, ball bets thirty dollars into seventy five, or I guess forty five. Yeah, with, you know, uh, bottom pair. You know what, CJ? Yeah, he does kind of look like the late Harold Ramis. <laughs> he does kind of look like that. <laughs> Harold Ramis, of course, from uh, Ghostbusters. Yeah. Be gone. Or um, what? His name is right there. It's right there. Uh. What movie does he in? Oh, 
That was a good call, CJ. Yeah, definitely looks like Harold Ramis. Oh yeah, for man. Paul, Paul, Paul is just there for fun. Paul is a guy that he's got a very outgoing personality. I'm gonna give you a break and not re-raise you. They're gonna have some fun. Mm -hmm. Not that they're not that they haven't already. Yeah. Egon. Yeah. That's what it is. It is. Egon. Yep. Thank you, Chris. CJ Poole and Chris. He looks like that's who it is. Yep. Mm -hmm. Glasses and everything. Mm -hmm. Ooh, bring out the proton pack. Yeah. On the table, which I need to catch the new one. I heard the new one's not bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The new Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a reboot almost in a sense. I am so excited and so ready for Spider-Man. I was about to ask, speaking of, did you uh, get your tickets yet for that? Nah, they sold. So I went to a friend's giving, and they told me that tickets were going on sale that morning, like 3 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. They sold out. Damn. Yeah, so I, I mean, I'll get to it. I've had people I never even knew watch superhero movies. They're like, hey, Adonis, man. Hey, I'm looking forward to that Spider-Man. Hey, mm -hmm. I gets down with Spider-Man heavy. I'm like, what? You do? I mean, the trailer just is going to attract all walks of life. I told somebody, I said, it might crack top five grossing films of all time. Mm -hmm. It might. You know, speaking of, um, I mentioned earlier how I'm going to Orlando for the CEO event, right? Mm -hmm. uh, one of the dealers... Uh, that we work with, uh, Austin, uh, it's one of the Austins that we have here. Sure. Uh, said he was actually going to be going down there to pl uh, play in the Smash Brothers tournament. Smash yeah. is, is one of those games that also attracts all walks of life. Uh-huh. So, because he asked me, he's like, hey, Ryan, you going down there? I'm like, yeah, wait a minute, what do you play? And he told me Smash. I was like, ah, all right then. It. Well, good luck. I love it. Free Willy just called 10 bucks with Ace Jack, but he did have two players behind, so he might not have wanted to raise it up. And he's going to pay... Mm. Severely for not raising it up. Yeah, um, because a three bet from him gets the owner, gets Aaron. Maybe JDP sees a flop, but he's gonna be betting this hand like he has the best of it, and he does not. So we go heads up on the turn here. Um, you think Harry's drinking a shot tea latte? That's my drink of choice. I like that. If he is, good man. No heart on the river and Free Willy might lose a little bit. There's Tex. Oh, there's the heart on the river, so. Yeah, Free Willy now can, I mean, he's not going to realize how much that card saved him from losing money. Oh, and he made the call, so it didn't save him any money. He actually, oh, man. And that's kind of where you just think back to yourself, how could you have played the hand differently? And I think the first, uh, I don't want to say mistake because it really isn't a mistake, I guess. But I guess the first error is that he could have probably three-bet ace-jack there pre and could have probably gotten Aaron to fold ace-tray. Just calling $10 might have been a little passive. Josh Buttry says, I went to high school and college with HB. Love watching this man do his thing. Yeah, he's cool, man. Like I said, I had a little bit of a fanboy moment when he came in. You know, I, I've already said this once, but I'll say it again for those uh, new viewers and stuff like that. I just didn't, I felt like I seen him before. I felt like he had been a friend of mine that I'd known him. Didn't, couldn't necessarily place his face, but that I knew it. And then I'm like, wait, you're Harry. And, you know, he got up out of the chair, dapped him up, gave him a hug. 
I was like, hey, buddy, you know, I really watch your content, love your content, and uh, thanks for stopping by and playing. No one told me that Harry B. Poker was coming by to play, so I kind of just had a moment. Uh, do I know if Harry is single? I do not. Um, in 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 meeting him, it wasn't a question I felt was was important at the time. Uh, but JDP just flopped the nuts, and Free Willy just flopped top two. So uh, rest in pieces. Rest in pieces to Free Willy because he might, pending no spade, lose every chip that is in front of him. Yep, turn him up, Ryan. Turn him up. You know what time it is. You know a guy named Black? Uh, yeah, yeah. He yeah. was moved to Texas. Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah, no, he... I played with him a bunch. Where? At South Dallas? Yeah, it's down here. So. Oh, cool, cool, yeah. I grew up in South Florida, though. I've worked here for a long time. Gotcha. 215. No, he's, he's, he's a super cool guy. Yeah. All in. He's a, he's a really good player. He is. All right, give me more action. I don't get it. He plays a big game, man. Yeah, he plays some bigger stakes for sure. Oh, 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 he got there. He burned him. He took him down. JDP got burned. And I really felt like Free Willy was going to give it up. But I'll be damned. He, and here's the thing. I didn't consider it because I thought the hand was a lock. He had outs. One of those outs came right down the river. JDP is absolutely destroyed. Absolutely floored. And more than likely tilted because you know you flop you flop a straight, you're only losing to one hand. On yeah. The flop? Well, and uh, that was also the power of Jack Nine being stopped. Just listen, I had that in the back of my head. I didn't want to say anything. My hand did get crushed on, but you know what? We still stay strong. Okay. Mm -hmm. More wins than losses, baby. More wins than losses. <laughs> it's the dealer's fault. Greg, <laughs> is that is that the Greg Goder? Please tell me that's tournament aficionado, young master, and young champion. <laughs> really quick, as always, when I see Greg Goder in the chat, I got to tell this crazy story. I mean, it's just crazy for me being a dealer. Um, we had the five hundred dollar or two thousand dollar tournament with five hundred dollar bounties, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This dude stacks like five or six people. Has six purple chips as a card protector, just wreaking havoc on the table. Ooh. Guy is just an absolute stud. Yo, shout out to Greg Goder. Crushing man. it. Crushing it in that haymaker event. Damn right. Yeah. I love that kid. He's older than me, but, I mean, his his personality, his soul, and the way he plays poker is young and spry. Uh, so, Greg, main event in North Carolina. You're going to take it. I believe it. Good believe luck. It, Greg. Best of luck, and I hope you run deep, my friend, okay? Absolutely. Charlie Ball says that dealer is sour. He's going to sue him legally. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, shout out to Billy, though, man. Yeah, shout out to Billy. He had to do it. Had to do it to him. But this is good for the game because guess what? JDP about to really start to have some fun. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. As soon as we found out JDP was going to be hitting the uh, hitting the table here, it's like, yeah, we knew that, that there's a good tendency that there's going to be some uh, – some stuff happening, mm -hmm. to say the least, because he is such a wild card. He is, and he loves to have fun. Oh, mm -hmm. look at this. Oh, but oh, so but. king, king, tray of hearts folded. But he flopped a pair in a flush draw. Mm -hmm. Billy is an awesome guy. Yeah, Billy's Billy's super cool. Billy's yeah. super cool. Billy's great. Yeah. Ron Fritz, Indiana. Is that where you're from? Is that where you reside? If so, shout out to you, and I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I don't know if he I don't know if some I don't know if some higher power sent telepathy to Billy and, and the fact that Greg said he's a good dealer but he goes yeah I'm not I'm not a good dealer <laughs> it's so the thing I love about Billy is like he's so deadpan on the things he says and they're just naturally that's, funny. Because but that's why he had, those kind of guys have the perfect humor. Oh, 100%. Because it's never meant to be funny. Mm -hmm. And then it's just always funny. Right. I love it. Uh, let's go Free Willy. I hope so. I love, I'm not going to say that. I feel like it might be bad. Free Willy looks like that kind of dude that planned out his outfit two days before this. 
Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with planning out your outfits. Do you know how many times that first day of school I had my outfit planned out? Oh, 100%. I'd walk around that school like I was the man. Oh, they're doing, are they doing a nuclear hand in Christmas Queens? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Seth says, where is Adonis? That's my guy. Oh, is that Seth, Seth? Uh-oh. Is that the Seth? Is that Pocket Jack, Seth? What are you doing in the chat? Where are you at nowadays? <laughs> Just listen. If you want to talk about a larger-than-life personality, mm -hmm. that guy. Yeah. He's the guy to have at your table. An absolute breath of fresh air. Fun. I wish I could say the other word, but I, I like to talk a lot of trash to him. I, I think I know who you're talking about. Oh, yeah. That's him. I that, think I know who you're talking him about. That's him and Charlie got him. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Seth, <laughs> Seth, Seth, you got to do it in the chat one time. Got him. That guy's funny. But JDP is looking to get the rest of the field because he turned two pair. And Paul, with a hope and a dream, is going to be donating here. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, there it is, Gotti. <laughs> All right. Heads up. Okay, I was like, how many people are in this hand? Yeah. Okay, right. so an irrelevant nine, inconsequential nine, and Paul is doing that thing where he's repping a hand that he doesn't have, but JDP's hand is too strong to fold. Uh, are the commentators single? So, uh, ace four... <laughs> Is just such a strong hand. I just don't know if JDP can fold this. I don't see him folding it. Nah, he's all. tilted a little bit. He'll put it in. Yeah. He'll put it in. Nah. I'll ask the question for Harry B, though. Right, that's for us. You know, me, I'm not real. I'm not real. I just like to do commentating and like to have fun. As far as personals and specifics, I'm just a guy. Mm -hmm. I'm just a guy. Absolutely. I miss you, buddy, and I will see you in January. Uh, just got back from WSOP in Cherokee. How'd you do? G give me some stats. You don't got to be too, uh, you don't got to be too uh, descriptive or, or get too personal with it. But uh, hopefully you did well. Uh, I can't say your handle because it is an expletive, but right. I do enjoy the fact that you're enjoying the commentators being myself and Ryan. We like to have a lot of fun, but we like to be personable. Like, Absolutely. I like to feel like this chat is like me sitting down on my couch having a conversation with friends about Pokemon. Right, exactly. You know, That's kind of the way that we want to treat it and everything. We're here to talk about current events, <clears throat> Yep. poker, a little bit of sports, but more or less to check on y'all too and make sure y'all are good because you know, I, I love making sure the people who are watching are fine. Right, and we also like to you know, keep you guys involved as much as possible too. Guys yeah. and gals. Mm. You know, having just having some fun. Wait, what are you talking, Jeremy? I haven't even like heard from you in like months. Where have you been? Before you begin asking any questions, where the hell have you been? The owner has been relatively quiet, but the owner has also been very card dead. So yeah, it's one thing you gotta understand when you're on a stream. It's just really, really tough to try to manifest your luck, especially when you're down. It's just really hard to try to get money back and try to step outside that mold, you know. You think, oh, well, Ace-10 might have been a loose call there, all in. So I'll tighten up, and then you're just not getting any cards. Okay. Quick story about Seth before we go to a flop. This man folded Ace-King suited to an open. No three-bet. Showed me Ace-King suited and folded. Mm. I think he might have been up against a pocket pair or something like that. Flop came 9-5-4. He just knew. He just knew. Oh, look at this massive flop for JDP. Yeah, I was looking at that too. It's like, ooh. Queen, five of clubs, flops a pair and a flush draw. Is in the driver's seat. Just looking to take down this pot and keep going. And I don't think anyone has anything to really give him any opposition. I think they just got to give it up. I thought he might have called with the gutter. Oh, I'm not using <laughs> good, took down two sit and goes, 300 for 2,600 and played 510 cash, up 6,500 for the trip. That sounds like a damn good trip to me. Absolutely. I like that. Nothing wrong with family time, Jeremy. Keep in touch. I'll just show you one. How about that? Okay, watch this. Massive flop. <laughs> Give him a little taste. 
Cody Krabs says Bulldogs by 17 on Saturday. No. Now, Cody, don't think I'm a hater. Let me preface this. I do feel like now nah, I'm just going to I'm going to say this really quick. We're in between hands. There are no cards out. I feel like it's safe, okay? Right, yep. Mm -hmm. The Georgia Bulldogs will win the national championship. I feel that way. Will they beat Alabama by 17? Absolutely not. I don't think so. It, it, the the close call to Auburn Auburn should have never been in the game. Yeah, that is going to be a wake-up call. Not only that, when was the last time Alabama got blown out? I think I asked that last stream. Yeah, it's just, been a long it just time. Don't happen. It's been a long time. The win, I don't think there's an argument there. Right. But by but win margin, I don't think it'll be very large. Yeah, I do. I do also have Georgia winning that game for sure. Yeah, they're gonna smoke them, but I don't know if they'll smoke them by 17. No. Nick, listen, man. Nick Saban will have those kids running until they're until the the very flesh falls off their bones if they lose by 17. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, man, I mean, we're already seeing the coaching carousel taking oh, place. Oh, yeah, Brian Kelly to LSU. Brian Kelly to LSU. That's big, though. That was probably one of the bigger surprises that we've That's seen. That's big. Like, for LSU to pull Brian Kelly away, who, by the way, just became the wingi winningest coach in Notre Dame history. That's that's huge, man. Yeah. I don't know. But the other one to keep an eye on and pay attention to, Lincoln Riley to USC now. I heard about that. He Lincoln, he, Lincoln Riley to USC is He said he's ready big. to win. Big. Yeah, he's ready to win. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what we got going on here. That I, I tried to wait it out. Oh, I tried to wait it out as long as possible oh, for this exact moment right oh, here. Free here Willie, go. American Airlines, the goods, the spices, the Triple A baseball bat hitting aces. Yeah, and he's gonna bump it up to fifty. Only thing is, nobody really has much. But if you're Paul, who cares? I'm just here for fun. Hey, yeah. what do you say? I'm here for a good time, He's not a long here, time. Yep. He's just here to have – just have himself a time. And he's going to make the call here. So, head to head. You're on the flop. Hopefully, Paul does not continue anymore. That's all I can say. Yeah. Hopefully, Paul does not continue. Right. But Paul's having fun. He's about seven Michelob Ultras deep. <laughs> That's not a recipe for success. No. Shipping it all in. He is drawing dead. Yeah. Heart saves him. Queen would have saved him, but he's dead. Yeah. Aces. Smoked. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it looks like Paul's looks like Paul's calling it a night. Not, nothing bad about you guys, man. It's just awesome to play with you guys, but man, I'm stupid. And I'm very good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Paul. <laughs> Paul put it out there. <laughs> yeah, you want to talk about putting it out there. Paul just let the table know, hey, man. Paul just said, hey, man, I'm stupid. And I wouldn't agree with that. No. I wouldn't agree with that any day of the week. No. Paul's having not. Paul's having fun. Okay? Yeah. If Paul was the kind of guy where he grinded every day, mm -hmm. you know, then I'd be like, ooh, he might want to pick another job. But right. Paul has a very good job. Yeah. Paul just likes to have fun at this table. Right. <laughs> Oh man, that's fun though. Yeah, that's, damn it, Paul was Paul, so much fun. Paul, Paul, Paul is, Paul's Paul's uh, honestly actually a really good guy too. This is yeah. So the owner trying to uh, get mixed up or entangled in the action is gonna like he said make an extremely loose call here with nine deuce. He's been card dead, he's down, and he just wants to be involved. Yeah. It sounds like the motto of a dating website, right? Yeah, it does, like, absolutely. Jesus Christ, but uh, he doesn't get down enough because there he bets 15, and those cards are gone. Yeah, Bob, my, come on, just take Yeah, my, my dude, the owner, he just, he just wanted to swipe right. Yeah, he just, uh, like I said, he hadn't been involved in too many hands, so. Mm -hmm. So we are going to get it. Looks like we're going to get a new player in here. Who the hell is this? Show your face. Well, we only take the good ones. Oh, wow. He's doing some wild stuff. <laughs> hey, watch this. Massive flop. What does the owner own? I'm not sure. Yeah. He owned a card shop. Card shop. He's not owning the table right now, unfortunately. But Nah, and, and that's the one thing about it is you have to understand, yeah. like, when you play poker, one... You're not. You're not always gonna win. And two, 
you're going to have those rough nights. It yeah. might be one for him, but the night is still young. It's right. only You get that long stretch of not being able to do anything, but then you get that one hand that could possibly start a good run for you. Yeah, I mean, look at I mean, look at this. Like it's only 8:25. We're good. Mhm. Mm uh, Cody Tapp says, I'm traveling down live Friday night. Super stoked. I'm stoked, buddy. I'm stoked. I'm stoked for sports. I'm stoked to meet you. I'm stoked about life. I'm just stoked all around. Stoked in general. That's it. Stoked for the holidays. You, but you might want to call me the master of being stoked. So it looks like uh, we don't have an action tracker for this hand. I do know Chase is involved. Right. So we're going to all be pulling for Chase this hand. Mm. That's all I can say. Yeah. Oh, it's it's Chase and JDP. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, wait a minute. Is this... uh? In the three seat now, is this the Bob that was uh, uh, from a few weeks back that was like the dark better, like dark calling and stuff like that? Was it, is it that Bob? Uh, it might have been when I wasn't here. It's possible, though. I think it might be. I hope so. That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. I think that's who it is. If it is, then we got somebody good to replace Paul because yeah. I love Paul. Yeah. I love Paul because he's good for the game, but I love Paul. Oh, God. Look at the non-verbals. This guy is an absolute maniac. Yeah, he is. I'm okay with that. No, no. I okay. Yes, this is. This is the yes. He the one time he was on stream, it was for a two-five game, and he was playing like an absolute maniac I love the it. entire time. So uh, we're, the the action is going to continue. So it looks like we're heads up. Chase versus JDP. I once again do apologize for the action tracker. We don't have cards. We don't have whole cards. I will find out for you. Okay. So so fret not. I will definitely find out what the holdings were. But as you can see, we had a raise pre, we had a bet on the flop. It looked like check, check on the turn. And now Chase has led for $100 on the river. JDP is considering his options. Chase has been getting beat up all night. Let him have yeah. one, JD. JDP, let him have one. Okay, so JDP like is going to fold. Yeah. Chase is going to take it. Don't show him, Chase. You've been getting your head beat in, man. Your head looked like mashed potatoes. You don't show him anything. <laughs> he just gave him a little, so he just gave him a little smile. <laughs> a little grin, a little laugh. Yeah, you damn. Man, listen, yeah. for him to laugh, I have the utmost respect for Chase. Absolutely, especially with how night, his night's been going. Like straight, how he's Straight garlic like mashed potatoes. Yeah, just getting beat up. Like, you remember the old Pong? He's the ball right now. I know. Like, he, just getting beat around yeah, all over the place. It's so. fine. I'm cool with that. Yeah, he, he needed that hand. Oh, boy, did he need that hand. Did he? How much? Show me. You show, want, I don't care about the hand. Show me right, right now. Show me and show everybody. Show me and show everybody. All right, I got you. How much I you got need? you. Oh, he needed that. Yeah. <laughs> he, he needed it. He lost that hand. He might have been stuck about 1,400, 1,500. Yeah, he needed it. All right, we're good. Damn. He, he needed it. Oh, my God. Wait, JDP didn't just fold Ace King. Hold on. Hold on. Action tracker, don't get too drunk on me. Oh, I guess that's what he had last hand. Oh, maybe so it's just catch. Maybe catch. No, yeah. no, this is none. Uh, I think this is new. This might be current with this. We're going to find out real quick with the action tracker here. So. Um, Casey, guys, uh. We're unaware. We are now in the month of December. We are just a few days away from our biggest promotion. Our 12 days of Christmas starts on December 12th, right at 12 p.m. So, for example, it starts December 12th, beginning at 12 p.m. High hands will be $1,200 every hour, and we'll go basically as the day co concurs. So, for example, the next day would be the 13th. High hand will be $1,300 every hour, and that will begin at 2 o'clock on Monday. So, weekdays, that high hand promotion will begin at 2. Weekends, it will start at noon. But And I think something a little different this year as well. Um, on the 22nd and 23rd, our last two days of the 12-day of Christmas promotion, 
uh, our Orange Park location is going to be part of that as well, only on the 22nd and 23rd. So, um, yeah, it's a good time. People will definitely come out, try to get those high hands just in time for the holidays. So, again, it all starts December 12th, a Sunday at 12 p.m. Hope you guys are able to come out and uh, enjoy the festivities with that. Doc, what's up, buddy? How's Australia treating you? What's up? Yeah, I got it right here. Oh, yeah, we go we go personal with it. So I do have heads up action here between Bomb and JDP. JDP does get a pair on the flop. Actually, two pair. Think about it. So JDP is going to scoop that up as he does get that jack on the flop and rest plays out for him. Um, we did mention uh, earlier um, there is a uh, going to be a charity event tomorrow night. Um, we are going to stream some of that as well. Um, uh, Mark K, who is a radio personality, he is hosting his fourth annual 2021 Ho Ho Hold'em Celebrity Poker Tournament. That is going to be tomorrow night. Tournament's going to start at 7 p.m. and proceeds from the event is going to support K's Kids Initiative, which is a special times program of Dreams Come True. Um, again, that will be starting at 6 p.m. Um, and again, all the money that is raised from that charity event is going to go to those, uh, uh, all the proceeds is going to go to that foundation as well. Uh, so that's going to be taking place tomorrow. And we will be streaming some of that as well for you. Somebody over here is going to win, so I'm going to call. And so I have a one in three possibility. So 
So Harry does get a pair on the flop. Bob's going to bet 20. Hey, Mr. Chase. How you doing, sir? <laughs> that might be a question we might ask if Harry does play any uh, instruments. So heads up here as we hit the turn. Bob is going to check. Action now on Harry now. Checks back. And the river gives Harry actually a set of fives. Bob does bet 30. Uh, Kevin, the action's been kind of good. And Harry's going to raise the 80. Definitely thinking about it. And he's just gonna go ahead and fold it. Harry's gonna show. Nope, not gonna show anything. But the yeah, set of fives for Harry does get the him to scoop the pot. <laughs> we do thank you guys for uh, hanging out and joining us for this 2-2 uh, action. We do have a special guest in the house, Harry B. Poker in the one seat. Yeah, you guys can find his YouTube channel. Uh, you can type in exclamation point special guest on Twitch. If yep. you're on Facebook or YouTube, uh, Ryan will drop a link for you. Kevin you McCormick, guys. what's up, buddy? What's up? So, I got you guys. So there's the command where you can find... Harry's content. Harry's good people. Nice and relaxing guy. Likes to have fun. Oh, this is the, I guess this is the Bob guy that likes to check dark. Yes, it, dark, yeah, right? it is. I thought as soon as I saw him sit down, I'm like, wait a minute. I think I know who this is because I, I remember this guy was playing like an absolute maniac the entire time. Top or bottom? I mean, he has a pretty big draw, but Chris has the what do we call what do we call that in poker? The the nuts, right? Yeah, I think best hand, right? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, just wanted to make sure. Yep. So, but Bob does have the power of Jack Nine. Yeah, but forget Jack Nine because all his flush outs are are live, but right. all his straight outs are dead. Uh huh. Oh, but we're all going all in. I mean, he hit it. It doesn't yeah. matter. Bob yeah. is – this This is the Bob you're talking about, right? Yep, this is the Bob. This yep. crazy man down burn Chris yep. down already. Right. Chris has been quietly uh, just bringing he's, he's, in all the chips. Right. And Bob just comes in 
Look at him. Can barely even stay still in his seat. Who yeah. is this guy? <laughs> oh, look at Bob with the little needle. Hey, what did you what did you have? That's the one thing mm -hmm. that is so tilt. Like, here's the thing. I love Bob. Cool. Whatever, man. You at the table. I'm not. That is the one thing that irks me. This is a needling. You, abs like, 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 you like, absolutely probing, destroy like, me. You destroy me in the hand. Yeah. And then as you're taking in my chips, you just go, hey, man, what'd you have? Obviously not the winner, man. <laughs> right. You know? <laughs> not the winning hand. What you want to do? What you want to do? <laughs> Lick your thumb and take out your notepad so you can take jot down what I had? <laughs> huh? Put it in the logs. Right. What kind, away. Of, what kind of stats are you looking for right here, sir? You know what I'm sir? saying? Yeah, yeah. Stored away in the library? Like, no, I'm not telling you what I had. Hey, nice hand. Yeah. Nice hand. And we'll keep playing. Yeah. Don't you ask me what I had. Yeah, exactly. You ain't gonna like my answer. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is the Bob I was thinking it was. Hundred percent. Exactly. You got so, enough information when I folded. Leave me the hell alone. Exactly. But Chris is a good sport. He yeah. didn't say anything though. He didn't say anything. No, he did not. Four times every. I like Bob, though. Bob's a wild, loose cannon. Yes, and, uh, he is. I mean, you can definitely tell he's he's all of it. Ian Boyles, hello from Illinois. Hello, my friend. I hope you're doing well. I, I hope you're winning in poker. I hope you're winning even more in life. Uh, but thanks for stopping by the stream. Old man Pat, what's up? All right, so heads up action. Hopefully a nine doesn't come. Oh, oh good Lord, Lord, Jesus, rest oh. in peace. <laughs> Turn them up, please. Top two against top set. The case nine just smoothly comes on the flop, and let's get some money in the middle. Wow, what a flop. This is going to prove to be a very bad move for Bob. Yeah. Because Aaron's going to think this over. And here's the one thing. Aaron is raising you when a deuce comes on the turn. Mm -hmm. Deuce means nothing. I don't even think a flush draw would raise you here. Yeah. So they both think they're good, which means chips are going in the middle. Oh, my God. Um, I probably should, to be honest. You should be able to find a fold. This ain't a flush draw. Well, this is not a flush draw. This is, it was, you know, you know in Scooby-Doo when they take the mask off the villain? Yeah. It looked like a flush draw. Right. The mask is off. Right. This is top set. Right. You say that though, but this is Bob we're talking about. <laughs> we're about to find out. Yeah. Who? Whoever the first dealer was. Who's okay. Who's okay. Who's okay. Who's okay. Okay. Uh, he's not here today. He was supposed to be here today. I can't remember, but I don't remember his name. I'm gonna start getting 
Legit, if, if look I at me, longer hair, Asian. Oh, okay. I thought I'd be calling him Kurt the Cooler. If I actually win a pot, then I can I think we're then I can play with you guys. You know, I have to play tight until I win one. You got some ammo. You can play right now. Yeah. I got a little wiggle room. Not a lot. Not that I'm wrong. Not with the uh, the 2 2 WSOP table. Who, <laughs> me? No. That shit got crazy for. It's good for the stream, though. It's bad. I got two pair. Chris, you were right. Yeah. Chris is right. Chris, yeah. Chris is definitely a friend of Bob. He's yeah. been knowing Bob a while. Yeah. He's done. He's drawing dead. Yeah. It's over. That is gross. Case nine. nine. Absolutely a disgusting cooler of a situation. There is a there, there is a way to get away. When it goes bet, raise, raise, mm -hmm. one more, re-raise, mm -hmm. I'm out. I'm out. At that point, my hand, my hand's perceived strength is right. no longer good. But again, this is Bob's mo. That's did, what that's what Chris yeah, knows. This, this is because, uh, like I said, I remember when he was on the stream a few weeks back, and he did the exact same thing. He always would do things like that. He plays super loose. Chris knew. Chris said it. Chris said it before. <laughs> Chris said it. I think when Aaron re-raised, Chris was like, "Yeah." <laughs> he kind of prefaced it. He goes, I've been knowing Bob a long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not funny, but he kind of just came in like, hey, guys, I know this guy, and he's going to click the call button, yeah. and it's not going to be good. Damn, Bob went broke there, man. He didn't have to. And he's, he's just going to reload back in. And it's just right back to it. Yep. Okay, I like Bob. Aaron loves it too, though. Aaron likes it. Yeah. Aaron also uh, did give me this cool card, so I will – Take some time for this. Aaron does have terminal cancer. He has yep. bone cancer. Uh, but the man is alive and well. Uh, in a, From a, um, I guess, just a standpoint inside. Like, he's still living life, you know, obviously just very, very sad and terrible news. But it doesn't stop him from coming in this book room, having a great time, having some laughs. So yep. he did give me this card, though, and I told him I would definitely plug it a few times. He has on a hat and shirt, I believe, uh, that does provide promotion for the Grind for Life organization. And the mission of Grind for Life organization is to provide financial assistance to cancer patients and their families when traveling long distances to doctors and hospitals. In addition, we educate and inspire these patients and families concerning cancer survival and recovery. So if you'd like to donate, you would go to www.grindforlife.org and donate if you like. But once again, Aaron, super, super cool guy. Yeah. He, uh, Obviously, flop top set that you saw him get it in, but it's a wonderful, wonderful person. Lots and lots of life in him, uh, considering, and he's just doing a, just a, having a wonderful time tonight. So, mm -hmm. shouts out to him. Absolutely. Chris Fritz says, this is what Aaron played like and exact what he's supposed to do. Lockdown, smart play. Absolutely, smart Absolutely. play. And that's the thing is, you can only go back and forth for so long. When he made it, what was it, 300, two and a quarter, whatever it was, mm -hmm. he made it more than what I made it. Yeah. My hand is no longer good. Right. There is no, at that point for me, and I could, I could confidently say this, there is no, if you got it, you got it, I'm all in. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. You have it. <laughs> yeah. I know you have it. Yeah. He is, man. He's super cool. And he just, like, he came up to me and let me know. You know, it wasn't like it's a secret or, or he didn't necessarily want that out there. He told me. And I appreciated him that. Appreciated him for that. So when he asked me, I snap said yes. I'm like, absolutely, man. No problem at all. Um, and and he's having a great time, and I love it. So what he has locked with three kinds of hands, Bob's a chaser for Full House, his loss of mistakes. Gotcha. Chris, like I said, man, you got the Bob handbook, so you knew what was going to happen. Definitely in that spot. Oh, sweet mama Jesus, there's my honey bunches of oats of Don. It's Gary, Gary, Gary. What's up, buddy? Did you have a good Thanksgiving, my friend? I'm playing for the high hand. Let's get it. Yeah. At this point, if I hit the high hand on this one, I give you 250. At this point, I can't get cards and stuff. Gotta stay. Yeah, Looks like Bob made a deal with the dealer. I'll do the same thing. If he makes the high hand, he'll give him 250. You need, you need Christmas money, bro? 
<laughs> oh, this is him. I, I, I told you. He said, I'm not looking. Yep. Like I said, as soon as I saw that on there, I'm like, yeah, okay. This is going to be, this is going to get interesting with this table with him being on there. Hey, Dickie, what's up, man? How are you doing? Yeah, 12 Days of Christmas is going to be lots of fun. It's just going to be a fun, fun time, man. It's holiday season. Mm -hmm. We have a lot to look forward to, um, a lot to be thankful for, and a lot to be happy about. Um, and one of those things is if you're Bob, you raise in the blind and you flop top hair. So you definitely have to be happy about that. Yeah. And the man is just so uninterested in the hand, but he realizes he has top pair. So what does that merit? Continuation bet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dickie, we had uh, some things we had to uh, adjust to with the stream. But, yeah, the things are back up and uh, running the way they're supposed to now. So things are A-OK. -okay. Things are good again. <laughs> Raising the blind and get called. You raise, you, you get raised in the blind by nine tray off, and he flops top pair. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Nothing. Straight five from Bob. Looks like a regular uh, motion there from him. Mm -hmm. The man wants to have some fun. The man wants to get deep in. Harry, though, does have pocket tens. Oh, yeah, three bet time. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no, we're, we're, not, we're not playing that little. Nope. Yeah, we were deep. Yeah, no, we're not playing that mess. We're not doing that. Nope. You never want to hear that. <laughs> as a dis as a as a disciplined player, yeah, exactly. You never want to hear that. No, <laughs> because if you don't, if the flop isn't ten ten x, you feel like you're behind. Mm. Oh, oh, but that's a good flop. That's for Harry. that's a good enough flop. That's top set's flop. not bad. Mm -hmm. Maybe I said minimum quads, but top set is not too bad. Now you check. No, you check. No, 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 no. no. You let him get deep in it because, see, if you take the betting lead from him, then he knows he's beat. Yep. See, if you check to him, he bets. Yeah. No, he 100% bets say, the flop. You, with, with the way he's been playing the, tonight and everything and the way he does play. Oh, no, the owner's getting deep in it, though. Oh, all right. Yeah, and he doesn't have much behind. Oh, and he picks – oh, yeah, he's that's it. It's done. Yeah, he picks up what he thinks might be uh, the perceived best hand if he can make it, but Harry has a boat. Yep. And he has $126. The pot's 217 mm -hmm. Harry could just go all in here. Yeah. Or effectively put him all in, I should say. Yeah, he's looking at his stack to see how much he... Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a tale as old as time. Mm -hmm. A song as old as rhyme. It's just, yeah, and all in a call, you... Uh, I got a pair in the nut flush draw. I got a bow. Pocket three. Yeah, he turns over pocket tens. And he's dead. Harry, just put him out of his misery. Yeah, he showed it to him. Mm -hmm. yeah. There was no card that could help you, bud. No, none whatsoever. Well, mm, that is going to end the owner's night. That man couldn't. That man couldn't get any cards. He, he, he just did not. He could not get going at all. The entire night. Like, how many times he was just not able to play and was just trying to find something. I think that might have been the best hand he saw in the past hour and a half. Yeah. So, I understand him. Like I said, you, you, you want to be in the action and you want to be a part of the action that you then want to manifest, you know, your luck with hands like that. And for what it's worth, I, I'm not opposed to him getting it in there. The board is paired, yes. Mm -hmm. But you, you think he has outs. You don't think the guy's a boat. Austin, you're 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 wild. That, that that's that's rough. 
That's, I think that's what we'd like to call uh, piling on. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's ooh, a little needle to the side. Right, yeah. Put the syringe straight in his side. Mm -hmm. Hit the kidney. All right, three-way action. Chris, Bob, and Aaron. And uh, Bob's going to flop top pair. Chris, middle pair, and Aaron. Hoping a dream, but he has plenty enough chips, so he won't be too mad about missing the swap. <laughs> nah. Yeah, Aaron's had a pretty decent night. Yeah, above average. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gary, you're a sick man. You're sick, Gary. You are very sick. But it it's slightly refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> because you just never know the bounds of Gary's sickness. No, like you just no. never know when he's gonna no, when or where he's gonna go. Oh, there's there's a. Uh, there is a. Uh, Sir, s certain new good. elements I learn about Gary. Jesus Christ. Every, uh, so every Flow Entertainment, how you doing, man? Gary's just already at it. Yeah. <laughs> and I haven't seen Nick from Yuma, so Gary's free to one wild. Yep. Oh, man. We hope you guys have been enjoying this 2-2 uh, two -two No Hold Em Deep Stack action tonight. We have another victim in the seventh seat. We do. Best of luck to him. Uh... I don't know if he knows what he's coming into, but <laughs> it should be a fun night for him. Yeah. We are missing JDP though. Where did he go? JDP took a walk, man. I yeah. hope he. I hope he'll come back here re relatively soon. You know. It was yeah. A, it was a fun game. Oh, is he talking about? Well, oh. ask where he is. There he is. Again. Did you just did you speak him up? I, I I I spoke JDP back into existence. Kazaya Bishop, can you please pin the website to donate? Uh, is it the website for? Yeah, which one are you talking about? Uh, is it for Aaron? The uh, do you want the Grind for Life organization page? Is that the one you're asking for? If so, once we get your response, Ryan can take care of that yep. for you. 100%. Like I said, it's a really great cause. It's really cool. I wish you guys could see the card. I mean, this is just absolutely amazing. Really good merch, really good gear. It's all around great. Okay, yeah, it was the grind. Yeah, so it's www.grindforlifeoneword.org. Uh, he can put it, he'll put it in the chat for you. Wow, you're hitting her with the HT HTTPS forward slash forward slash semicolon. Damn, Ryan. The full website. I like it, buddy. There's nothing wrong with that. There you go, Kazaya. And it's also pinned there, too, so you guys can check out the website there. Super, super cool. We also have, uh, <coughs> let me make sure I get this correct. I do not want to mess this up. We also have our Ho Ho Hold'em. Mm -hmm. Let's talk Celebrity about a bit earlier. poker tournament tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, Ali McDeal is kind of hosting that. It's going to be a nice little fundraiser here in Jacksonville. Um, the K's Kids organization. Yep. They're going to be hosting a charity tournament. There are ways to donate to that. Um, we'll put some links in the chats once I get all the information. Like I said, I want to make sure I give you guys actual authentic information. What I've learned with social media. You only got one shot to get it right. Yep. Okay? Yep. You mess it up the first time, you're yep. never going to live it down. Yep. doesn't matter if you're Derek Jeter, you're LeBron James, or if your name's Adonis. If you don't get that first, if you don't get that first bit of information accurately, they're going to smoke you. Mm -hmm. So once I get the accurate links for all of that, I will drop that too. And uh, we'll go ahead and, and get that info out. What's the maximum for the 30th of December? Ryan? Uh, that's the stream, right? Let me pull up the stream schedule and see what the, what night that is, or what will be that night. 
Can we get her to take a drink order beh from behind seat five while watch? Oh wow! Uh, you read it. I did. You you read it. Ah damn it! You read it. Kevin, I don't know if we can arrange that, bud. Uh, I don't know if I have that much power. Uh, you read it. All right, so that is the. So that is the two five no limit hold'em deep stack with twenty five dollar big blind antes. That's going to be taking place on December 30th. Uh, I would assume that's the same regular buy-in for the 2.5. So men 3, max 1,500. Okay. <laughs> We're not hero killers, Dad. Will it, like, Maybe seat six? Now that I can work with. Mm -hmm. Seat five was outside of my of my realm of power. But seat <laughs> six, I can work with. 75 South, my main man. What's going on, guys? Finally got a chance to play with Dustin at OP. Yeah, uh, Dustin was, go. I was, so, fun fact, I wasn't playing poker. Uh, I was playing some table games, but I was out there. Dustin was out there. Johnny was out there. Mm -hmm. A ton of dealers from uh, Jax was out there on, uh, what was it? Might have been Monday? Maybe Monday or Tuesday? Mm -hmm. I didn't see you out there, 75 South. And what's crazy is, because, like, it's it's obvious at this point. I'm super super personable. So like all yes. the players that I see, I go through. I have to say hi to. So I'm pretty sure if I see you 75 South, I'd have definitely said what's up, man. Uh, 904 Josh, uh, that 25 25 Anna game I was talking about. Um, it's on December 30th. I don't know about the list yet. He just for called that. 125 with Deuce. He did oh, absolutely. Hold up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now chase. Now if you chase, you got a three a monster three bet in front of you with a cold call also in front. You do that. You fold. Yeah. And he had the best hand, but the action tells you otherwise. Yep. Let's see if Bob can hit a deuce. Oh, Harry can't fold. You got the gutter and the flush draw. You yeah, can't Yeah, cannot. You can't fold. Harry's been absolutely slapping, beating, kicking, stabbing all of these flops tonight. I don't think he's missed a flop. Mm -mm. And uh, if you're Bob... Well, I don't know how you call 125 with deuces, but I, I hear this guy is just absolutely wild. No. You hey. the best hand. Show him, Harry. King, queen, two. I did have a queen. He's not lying. There's Gary, and that's cancer. 100%. Do it. Do it. You right know what? Now. You know what? Do it. We got you. You don't hear this man? He yeah, just yeah, he yeah, just yeah. made a request. Yeah, he did make a request. There's there's your request, Bob. <laughs> Bob, you're down Bob watch Bob, you're down one thousand one hundred and eight dollars. Yeah. You down, Bob. But Bob, there's plenty of night left, so strap in. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. So Chris got Jax. Chris been uh, waiting in the weeds. Chris hasn't said much of anything at this table, but I guess he's letting his bets do do the talking. <laughs> the Bob and Chase, so. <laughs> I have two uh, black and white cards. So we have Chris with the pocket jacks against Bob's four deuce. Oh, showing off the tat. It's the Bob and Chase show. Yeah, yeah. Chase. Chase. Pr Chase is taking a walk, uh, as as he should. Yeah. Um, 
he has gotten back a little bit, but take a glance at it. He's still he's still down, right? Um, he's still getting yeah. smoked. Yeah, he's still getting smoked. So. Still getting smoked. Yeah, it's not good. So, just, um, just a little bit. So yeah, he's gonna have to take a walk. And just kind of, you know, decompress. Like I said, he held it together rather well on the table. Yes, he did. But, yeah, probably a good chance for him to just kind of unwind a little bit, to say the least. Yeah, Dustin's really good. Dustin's Dustin's a really good player. Dustin's been playing poker for a while, though. Yep. Me, on the other hand, I just donate, man. That's just how I get down. But, yeah, Dustin was good. So, yeah, the table, I, I saw them, and I said hi. The, ta the table had Johnny and Dustin on it. And I think one of the dealers here, Artie, actually. Artie was on it, too. Artie was hanging out. I missed the V pip. Did y'all show it? No, but we can. I'll show the V pip. Oh, who is Do? Uh, new player, but he's got a set of trays. Yeah, but he's gonna be up against a pair in the in the king high flush draw. He ain't out yeah, of the woods just no, yet. No, not yet at all. And he's probably gonna be facing a raise. And it's against Bob. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, so you know, Bob's gonna keep it going. Oh, he just called. Uh, Art. Hard hits. Art, damn it, Art. It wasn't a heart, because he definitely, uh, yeah, it wasn't a heart. Nope. Damn. I was hoping that was a heart. We all were hoping it was a heart. Yeah, we all were. Okay. I want a high hand, too. Can you sh uh, walk him? Yeah. Is that legal? That is legal. I need to add money, too. Can you walk him? Can you All right, so you guys want a V-Pip? We'll show you a V-Pip. Uh... I don't think it's a surprise who's a top of the V pip right now. Bob has an 85% V pip? Yeah. Good lord. Yeah. Dude just got in, so his is a little high right now. But yeah, Bob, 85% V pip right now. <laughs> this is one of our uh, floor managers, uh, great person herself as well, Taniqua. <laughs> Taniqua is one of the greatest people I've ever met in my life. Yes, 100%. Taniqua's up there. So, like, off the top of my head, like, Taniqua, Shauna. Shauna absolutely as well. Shauna Banana is absolutely an amazing human being. Mm -hmm. One of the most genuine people I've ever met in my life. Yes. I told uh, speaking of Shauna, I told her how I was going down to the CEO for the yeah you know, that video game event and everything, and uh, how I'm staff are. She, she loves uh, she loves esports. Oh, she's yeah she she uh, she kindly asked if I could hook her up with the uh, stream links uh, for the finals on Sunday, and I told her I got her. Yeah, she's uh, send them to her. She's absolutely amazing. Yep. So Harry is gonna four bet to two ten. With King, Ten of Diamonds, he picked the ex perfect spot to squeeze here. Uh, a lot of middling and terrible holdings. And, uh... I just can't see it. How many green chips? Two green chips. Green chips, yeah. I got you. I got you. So, Billy there uh, did... I think Aaron might have asked something about the action. And like he said, I can't tell you. I cannot tell you. Uh, as it does protect the integrity of the game, he yep. cannot divulge that information so mm -hmm. can't tell him who bet what yep and harry shows i believe i'm pretty sure he showed the king and then folds so not a bad move there from harry harry got a little something everything yeah working. harry's harry's had a very good night um i can't say of uh the profits right now he is a top the the uh standings if you will jdp is back and it looks like uh Chase is back, so hopefully the game will keep going and go well. Also, it looks like Bob is in rare form. He's got his drink. He's looking to have some fun. Did you watch both decks? Or not? I 
<laughs> Bob, I like him. I like Bob. <laughs> Bob said he totally got Billy. Billy definitely just got sucked in. Yeah. Billy's like, there's only one day. He's like, I know. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I like it. 904 Josh says, I'm in the first group for that game on the 30th. Just check my email. Not bad. There you go. So I guess we'll see you the 30th, man. Absolutely. So it looks like JDP is right back at it. Yep. He's going to bet close to the pot here with a seven. Howard County Diploma. This guy is just full of jokes. Yeah. Chase does bet 20 with ace eight suited. So we have three way action. Get him, Bob. But Bob Bob's, Bob's staying after it. You have to. Uh, He's staying after it. Aaron's not ready to fold yet. No. Though. Oh, Bob picks up outs. Real outs. Yeah. He had five high on the flop. Right. Now he has a dream. Just a dream. Before he was, well, he was crazy and a maniac. But now he picked up outs. So did Aaron. Uh, but Aaron might not think eight high flush is good, but he also might not think Bob has a king or even a ten. Right. Yeah, not yet. That's the one thing, you know, with, you know, going up against a player like Bob who's a maniac, uh, you just don't know. Oh, but oh. that eight's going to definitely help on the river there for Aaron. You're going to feel good about that. Yeah, if he ever thought he was behind or if he ever thought maybe he didn't have the best hand, now he could definitely uh, check call anything Bob bets. He's not going to be leading here for fear he might get raised by, like, flush, a flush or something mm -hmm. like that. But I don't think there's an, a, an amount that Bob can bet. And he probably just snap call this. I don't know. I mean, I don't think you can fold a set of eights. Not to Bob. No. Call. Does call. He's going to show him the news. No, he ain't showing him anything. He didn't show. I mean, you can't show five high. No. No, no, no. no, no, no. I'm you blocked him. That's not by Aaron. Oh, yeah. He showed him. Yeah, Aaron showing you. Absolutely. Um, Mark, is there a reason they don't use a table with a shuffler? So the cards that we use are special cards in a sense. They have chips in them. That's how the action tracker and all of our technology on a table is able to show you the graphics for the cards and everything. Using a shuffler would damage those cards and the chips uh, that are in them. So that is why we do not use a shuffler for this. Is because it's a different type of card that's used for the stream table. So, and those cards are uh, a little pricey to replace. Twenty dollars. How do you want to do that? I'm going to uh, So it's perfectly up to you. You can dismiss the small blind and pay when they come back. Just keep it. Or you can uh, pay it now. Get You're still going to get cards. And don't worry about it. We'll just do this. Do that one. You want to do this? Okay. No 
couple more Omaha bonfires. Slightly yeah. different. Right over front. Uh, they were just like crazy. No, that would be a lot of fun. Right. That would be fun. So, I've never played that group of bonfires. So, they're doing a $10. Did you ever play Lazy uh, Fino? Uh, Lazy Fino? Uh, like small that. Line. All three <coughs> cards. And then, uh, Black and three. Right. That's a JDP with Ace King. You never want Ace King in a bomb pot. Nope. Ever. Nuclear hand, you never ever want it. Benny, this stream is going to probably go until around 11 o'clock Eastern time. I won't go too too long, as we know you guys do have other things to do. Uh, but it looks like Willy, Free Willy doesn't want to fold his flush draw just yet. It's an eight on the turn. Oh, that's a spicy card. Mm-hmm. It also puts Florida straight on the board, so everybody has to be mindful of that. Uh, there was no betting here pre-flop as it is a nuclear hand. Oh, wow. And then a four on a river. That Chase getting two pair. Yeah, but going runner, runner, two <laughs> pair on that board texture. Yeah. With that run out. Yeah, nah. I mean, you're in position. But, yeah, if you're due, you just, I guess you got to bet at it. <laughs> I ain't really heard much from Dew. I didn't figure if he'd pick a spot like this. I mean, the board is dangerous, but jeez. Yeah. Adonis does have some some silky smooth vocals. Nah, not me, man. You got, you, got, you, got, you got the silky smooth. Nah, I don't got the, anything. The, I, the Isaac Hayes. Oh, not the Isaac Hayes. <laughs> so, nah, I, Isaac Hayes is, man, that's that's too much of a decorated. <laughs> he's too much of a decorated mu musician. Rest in peace, Isaac Hayes. God, Jesus. Like, I wish. I can only aspire to be a, a 97th of his, of his greatness. Mm -hmm. Oh, not that 96.5. Yeah. You got that. You got that. Hey, look, I, I have a radio background. I could, I could definitely say Adonis does, definitely does have. The voice that would be good for the microphone. I've, it's always been a dream of mine. One can dream, can't they? Mm -hmm. If you're free willy, you got to dream about winning. You have to want to win. It's all about mindset. And uh, so far, it looks like he's poised to win. But I just don't know. Yes, I do know. Uh, for right now, I know. He, he's winning. But poker is not a game of, of playing correctly or, or or even having the best hand. Like right now, you could have the best hand, but look at look at Dew. Mm -hmm. Dew wants to stick around with the seven. That means the seven comes on the turn, right? Mm -hmm. Oh boy, Jacob, don't do it. Oh, he almost. I mean, but both players pick up straight draws. Yeah. Uh huh. Both players are going to pick up straight draws now. Absolutely. So Free Willy knows he's probably in the lead, but cannot, cannot allow these players to see any more free cards. You have to continue with the aggression. I know you've been getting beat up, but you got to stick to the game plan. And there's the game plan right there. Seventy-five though. Does force do to fold? And raised GDP the how much? Raised the 250. See, and this is the stuff I talk about, yep. man. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yep. Poker is that silly game yep. where independently mm -hmm. you can control your own fate, but poker ultimately decides your fate. The JDP just decides to just nut the hell up with six tray. Yeah. I mean, he did make two pairs, so that's something pair, I yeah. didn't. Maybe I didn't see that. Yep. Now I do. So JDP actually does not pick up a straight draw. He actually has two pairs. So yep. My my mistake there. JDP does have it locked. It the only thing is I was so focused on Dew hitting his seven or five. Right, yeah, yeah. I yeah. didn't see that JDP yeah, didn't. made two right. pairs. Yeah, yeah. God, this is so sick. Yeah. Why does this happen? 
that's the posture that I'm getting from like his posture. Oh, a hundred percent. How does this happen? Yeah, it, it, it literally. You're, what you're seeing is Ryan going, damn, 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 like yeah. literally the entire time. Whoa. Oh. He calls. Oh boy. Oh but he gets it. <laughs> I knew He knew as soon as the river came. JDP knew as he called as soon as the river came he knew it. Wow. Hi is that justice? Chat, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Chat, is that justice? I need to know. Like, can we really say that's a bad beat? He had he had the lead. Yeah. Sure, JDP caught up on the turn. Right. But is that justice? Wow. What a game this is. Yes, justice for the blind bet. You said justice for the blind bet? Who? Wow. <laughs> you know what's crazy is that I, I feel like JDP took such a long walk to avoid stuff like that. Right. Yeah, he like was his, gone for a hot minute. Yeah, and his, then his comes second hand back. back. Just like, oh, here we go. Pick up right where we left off, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Free Willy. Free Willy's doing it, man. He's climbing himself right on out of that hole. So I, I overheard a table talking a little bit. Apparently, Harry went to do a VOD with Bob. What? For his content. Did he really? I think that's what happened. They were just talking about it. That'd be cool. Harry's cool people, man. Yeah. I like the kid. Hopefully, uh, you know, he'll put this content together. And uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be a nice little... I mean, he has, a, he has the perfect... Like, he doesn't have to worry about the production, the angles, the camera, if he got enough of footage because we have it all. Like, it's right here for you. So right. Should, <coughs> the vlog he puts out should be amazing. I'm looking forward to it. Wow. What? <laughs> wow. Do we need to censor that? Wow. Look at Jacob. Jacob. Sick. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> that wasn't very judgely of him. I know. He's, he's off the bench. He's off the bench on his free time there. <clears throat> so JDP does flop a pair of eights. All right. So it's checking around. Uh, Let's try not to screw up this hand. I think I see just a pair of eights in mm -hmm. the field. Uh, a gutter ball for Aaron B. Uh, but the board is going to pair again. So a pair of eights. Two pair. Eights and queens is going to be good. And look at Dew just betting. I need to know who this Dew guy is. I know JDP Slippery. JDP will be fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Oh, but he's just going to He is going to fold, though. I mean, yeah, you can't. Yeah, run. you can't, can't really do anything there. And well, not only that, there was a counterfeiting card that came on the river, so he might feel like he just kind of he just got his two pair counterfeit. Mm -hmm. He's not trying to get involved, and it's such a small pot. Yeah, lots of different hands could beat him. Yeah, it wasn't really worth anything at that time. Wow. <laughs> this, guy, this guy is this guy is a master trash talker. Yeah, he is. But he has just the amount just the amount of jokes that you just love him. Yeah. So Chase, King Queen suited. Did you see me add more money earlier? Yeah. Okay, so my V div is great now, so I have more money. I never lost anything. Why didn't you 
the right? Yes, that's one. So it looks like we have three-way action as we hit the flop. Oh, and it, wow, Aaron flops a set of tens. Ooh, trips. But nonetheless, trips are set. It's going to do its job. Yep. Trip, yep. Can anybody win? Uh, Chase, oh, he has 3%. If he hits the jack, he needs, he can't win. No. Okay. Because I'm like, okay, well, he can make Broadway with a jack, but that gives Aaron a boat. So what 4% could he potentially have? Going runner, runner, kings? It doesn't matter, but I guess I was trying to figure out how he has any equity in, in the slightest. So you're still in Boca? Still in Boca. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Still in Boca. I'm from North Carolina. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually, I'm driving down right now to stop halfway. I got you. I'm going to Oh, King on the turn there. Still doesn't gonna help much though. Clubs. If who hit clubs? He has two. Oh, spade. If he hit spades, I guess. Wait, if he goes running kings, we end the stream, right? Yeah, uh, I would say if, if I ain't even joking. I was gonna say if a king does hit the river, then yes, we will end the stream. If he goes running kings, we end the stream. Yep. I mean, so, I don't know. So y'all, so y'all better, y'all better not. Oh, if he makes his flush, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a long island. Check his ID. He just turned 19 today. Yeah, we have. One more card to come. Yeah, I went to Crow Hollow Middle, and then uh, I lived in Fort Mill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, uh, <laughs> Running Kings, the card reader will melt. <laughs> that wouldn't that be something? Like everything just implodes. <laughs> yeah, I feel like <laughs> I feel like big enough coolers should just end whatever is around them. Right, exactly. It should almost function like an EMP. <laughs> right. Just, yeah. The whole, the whole room just goes dark for a second. Yeah. Backup like, generators kick on. Yeah, I'm saying like <laughs> like for example, let me let me let me just go ahead and establish what I mean. Yeah. Let's say it's like jacks versus tents, right? Mm. Flops ten ten deuce. Okay. Right. Jack jack. Everything around should just <sighs> just burn. Mm -hmm. Just literally just melt. It's ridiculous. Stuff like that just shouldn't happen. No. Just should never happen. No. All right, Bob, bumping it up. Ace, five, offsuit. Oh, and there's some real hands in the field. Look there at Dew. Yeah. Look at Dew. Oh. Dew's making it big, too. Yeah, he is. Who is he? He looks like, uh, what's his face from uh, Blue Mountain State? God, I can't think of his name. Oh, Thad. <laughs> oh, not Thad. And there's JDP with 10 deuce getting in the remainder of his chips. They all The in. old Doyle Brunson. And once again, Free Willy, Ace Jack. You have an open. You call. Guy behind you, three bets. Your opponent ships it. That means you fold. Which is what he does. Now, Do is going to go ahead and make the call. Detroit Urban Survival Training is what JDP is going to need to stay alive. Mm-hmm. Uh, 10 deuce, not doing too well pre. Let's see what happens. Oh. Dead. Nope. He oh, he made a straight. He made a straight. Wow. 10 deuce. Holy God. Wow. That's what we need. No, that was good. That's for poker. Yep. That's for poker. Mm -hmm. You know, that's poker is alive and well. Yes. That's just all that was. Wow. How do you do that? I mean, I guess we just saw it. <laughs> it just happened. Do you'd like to go to the... Uh, 
around the two minute and fifteen minute mark. That's what happened. <laughs> it is a funny game. This poker game is. Poker gods are brutal tonight. I mean, I guess that depends on who you're asking, Ian. <laughs> no, nah, this is just poker. The hell? This is just what happens. Yeah. <laughs> we've all been, listen, we've all been on the receiving end of stuff just like that. The guy that's just, oh, and then Free Willy has aces. This is him. This is him getting rewarded for correctly folding ace jack there in between, yes. in, in between those two players. Yes. So American Airlines is going to tango with nobody. All right, we're looking for a massive flop. He likes that. Massive flop. He likes it. Wow, so I didn't think he would get any action. And nah, Bob was still in it. Yeah, Bob and Aaron <laughs> just go ahead and prove me wrong. Okay, so we have a gutter ball for Bob, a pair of sevens for Aaron, and there's Bob just leading out. Just doing, just doing Bob. You're doing Bob stuff, right? Mm hmm Six or a ten gets him there. Mm -hmm. So Bob has a double gutter, double gutter, the double belly buster with extra cheese. And uh, Aaron B has a pair in a gutter. But uh, Free Willy's not going to make it cheap to continue. And he knows that the board is getting a little more, a little more wet as we go. He knows that the draws are definitely coming in. So why not charge them a price to get there? Mm -hmm. Free Willy does bet seventy five. I don't think Bob can. I don't think Bob's gonna fold with the double belly buster though. No. Double gutter, you just can't. Nah. Aaron does make the call. Oh well, now Bob's in, hundred percent. Yeah, he's. Uh, yeah, he's. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. My implied odd, my implied odds just go right through the roof. I can make the nuts. Yeah. I mean, he might think some of his outs are dead to hearts. You know, three-way action. Somebody's got to have hearts, right? That that's got to be the thought. Uh, but folding a double belly buster here, getting a little bit over three to one. I don't think Bob is gonna fold. No. Nope. Is it a fold? Maybe. But not in, probably, Bob's, probably, not in Bob's world. Yeah, probably yes, but not in Bob's world. Not in Bob's world. Oh, that's bad. That's, yeah. He makes top pair. Right. And it's a heart. Right. So it might just check through. Yeah, yeah it'll check through. He knows hearts got there. But it's going to be good. That's going to be a good hand. All right. I'm sure you guys probably want to see some stats. We'll show some stats here for you. And, yeah, all Harry and Free Willy tonight as far as profits go. Bob, though, stuck. You see that number, Adonis? <laughs> oh, yeah, Bob. Bob's not. Yeah, Bob's not doing it. No. Bob needs it. No, he, he needs it. And uh, the V-Pip. Uh... There's your V-Pip. Do 71%, Bob 70%. 65 
Bob's going to raise the three bet, 65 in the dark, he says. <laughs> Not even checking. That <laughs> Bob is calming down, only 70%. <laughs> Bob is giving JDP his best lines right now. JDP's like, mm-hmm. Yep. He, he's, he's, okay. he's not having any of it. No, that's a loose call for, for Chris. And I'd be like, Kevin, I'm like, We had a bingo hall where I went to college. Yeah. It's like right down the street. It's called Dollar PBR. Oh, yeah. In the you and me in there getting trashed. <laughs> yeah. It was a fun time. Like All right, so uh, everybody's in. Bob's plan didn't work. Unless you can flop a straight, three betting, seven five might prove to be costly. Oh, well, that's probably the best possible flop you can ask for. Mm -hmm. Six gets you there. Hope no clubs come. Yes, Bob did bet 50. So Chris, this is going to fold. Call so we have head to head on the turn here. Oh, oh. he always is in fear. Let's get a seven. Six. Nope, nope. that's a face, face card. card. Damn. Looks like uh, Bob's going to keep going and get back in. Just reloading back up. Wow, Cody with the with the MySpace the MySpace reference? MySpace still even a thing? I haven't heard about MySpace in forever. What we do uh, appreciate you guys coming through uh, for some two two no limit hold deep stack action tonight. Yeah, if you want to tell us that's Uh, tomorrow night's live stream again will be the, uh, again, we talked about it, the uh, Ho Ho Hold'em charity tournament event that's going to be taking place uh, with Mark K. Uh, charity event that all proceeds is going to be going to K's Kids. That's going to be taking place tomorrow. Starts at 6 o'clock. Uh, I think the live stream will still go at its usual time. And again, we're just a few days away as well from our <coughs> 12 Days of Christmas promotion. That's going to start on December 12th. It's a Sunday, so it's going to start right at 12 p.m. We are going to see head-to-head -head action here between Bob and Harry. Get my 
money back. So then I was like, the last hand I came back, I just made it back to the most I said, dude, fill me in. And the dude's like, I'm all in. I never even made it, like, I had my hand on the table like this. Just went, and I was like, I call. I flip over, I had seven dudes. And he had pocket aces, and I hit deuce, deuce, seven. And he was like, on the flop. He was like, he got, he just flipped. <laughs> wow, Streetwalker ID, you're wild, Kevin. <laughs> Does MySpace exist anymore? Absolutely. No, actually, I think they just shut it down. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, Cody dropped a MySpace reference. I was like, wow, that is a wild time. I remember, I remember Tom being my first friend on MySpace. Yeah, customarily came with the account. Yeah. Dude, a lot of top eights got a lot of people in trouble on that, on that website. Yeah, it did. Is Bob in? Uh, Bob's still in. Yeah, this is not going to be good. No. He says he checks dark. I'm pretty sure. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. A 10 hits a turn. Well, that's it for everybody that except Chris. Yeah, yeah. Is the same. But I think that's – I think that, uh, one, I think Bob can get away from it. Two, JDP knows. Yeah. Like, this wouldn't be hard at all to fold. No. A queen is just never good there. No. Oh. What? Yeah, JDP, you were dead, man. Yeah. <laughs> and there's not Bob did say a wrong thing <laughs> statistically no. the king should have never come yeah only thing is in, in some cases in poker we all know statistics don't matter yeah <laughs> see exactly how much are you down tell Bob how much he's down uh, you, you, you really want to know Bob Bob we, we can tell you how much you're down uh you can say it. yeah you're, you're you're down a cool <laughs> two <laughs> two thousand he said he said we could say it <laughs> Yeah. Bob, you're down $2,018. Yeah, you, you're down a year. Yeah. You're down a very – Yeah. 2018 was a pretty good year. 2019 was a year we wish we could all just stay at. Right, exactly. 2020 just 20, – 2020 and 2021 have been absolutely terrible, upsetting. And just I want to go back to 2019. Nobody had a care in the world. Uh, Yeah, that's a 20. So it's my, so I'm good at 40. You're, you're good at, you're, that's 35, but yeah, you're good okay. at 35. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> that was the crowd. Yeah, so it should be Sorry, good. sorry, yeah. it's a dollar, 36. Actually, 36. But it was a five, oh, four, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's why 40. I didn't know, that's why I put that out there. I apologize. Mm -hmm. I did look. Jacob having to yeah. set everyone straight here. Yeah. Last hand. Can I let, can he let me win at least one? Yeah. I mean, there's a possibility right now. I have, I have a lot of possibilities. Oh, <laughs> let everybody see my cards. So we're here. Heads up action. That's not a good flop for either player. No. A uh, decent turn for Bob, but board's paired. You don't ever want to go too crazy with a flush draw on a paired board. That's just, that's just what poker tells us. Quiet. <laughs> Damn, Chris is quiet over there. But Chris, I guess he's not gonna get a fold out of him. Bingo. Hit me on the river, please. Oh, you never want to say hit you on the river. That means you don't have a made hand, sir. Mm, nope. <laughs> yep, double paired board, not good. Nope. Oh, look at that! Giving, giving Jacob the stone. Yeah, he gave him the gave him the look. Your deuce was good. 
Any diamond, I would have snapped those. Would I have won if any diamond came? That is my pack. I don't think so. I don't. Take a dollar for giving away one. Oh, that is him, I think. <laughs> Bob, is that you? It is Bob. <laughs> Bob, you a wild dude, man. <laughs> I like the hell out of Bob. Yeah. Bob, I like the hell out of you. Bob, Bob, Bob makes things makes things entertaining. <laughs> is he trying to get a massage now? Yeah, Bob, listen. I I like what he's doing. Bob, Bob's having a good time. He said, "You want to?" He said, "See, he led with this. Do you want to be on TV?" That's in, in, instantly the door should open. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like you about to get you about to get all you about to get all this all this TV time. Yep. And I'm gonna pay you, and you can get my back right. Mm -hmm. You know, get my back right. I like Bob though. Yeah. Get his back right because the, the cards haven't been right for him. <laughs> The cards haven't been right. Ain't nothing been right for Bob tonight. And Bob, Bob has a good attitude. Yes. The man is yes. funny as hell. Absolutely. And can definitely just, I mean, yes. I, like, I like the guy. Yes. I like him. Once again, Bob speaking facts. He Listen, is. so turn, it, turn Bob up. Absolutely. Yeah. When you go to that cage and they make you sign something, if you have too much, they're going to be like, oh, you have to pay back. So that's why you give them a different name. Oh, I have to look? You don't have to. It's impossible to do that because identification is required. Right, exactly. I can't walk up to the cage and be like, I'm Eric Killmonger. And then they go, ID, sir. Unless it says Eric Killmonger on that ID. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bob is funny as hell, man. I like Bob. He's got something. But he's right though about the chips part. Is that he's right about the chips part? Is that um, you don't like the chips that are in front of you? They don't mean anything. Mm -hmm. It means nothing until you get to the cage to cash out. Right. Exactly. You know, you can't be like, oh well, I'm up this much. You're actually up nothing. Right. Until you actually cash out. You're not. You're not up anything. Right not up anything. This man is betting. Look at this. Look, mm -hmm. come look at this. Mm -hmm. And if that nine comes, any king destroys him. But Bob is trying to get him out now. Bob says, "Fold. This is my pot to win." Oh, Harry's gonna call. He's gonna call with the pair in the gutter. Joshua, hello, my brother. Ah, uh, about a deuce on the river. No good. No good. But if I think Bob bets at this strong enough, he might be able to get Harry to fold. Uh, might be able to get Aaron to fold his jack. Let's see what Bob does. That might be a good enough bet. He bet 55 into what, 250? Oh, damn. Aaron's going to look him up. Damn mm -hmm. it. Aaron's going to look him up. He always does. Yep. He always, he'll him and haw. He'll sigh one time. And they're like, all right, I'll go. Yep. I don't think I'm good. Well, hold it. I'll show you both if you, if you call. And I'll show you one if you do. See? Hems and haws that mm -hmm. makes the call. Yep. He always looks him up. Yep. It's like he just, I don't know, like he's Bob's nemesis of the night. Like he just doesn't want to fold. Yep, there's the call. Told you. Yep. That is the hard part, knowing when to get up. It is indeed. Michael Tyler, see y'all Friday. I'll see you Friday, Michael. I'll be working the stream. Yep. I shall be here. I promise. I will be in Orlando. You'll be deep in it. I yeah, I will be deep in it. <laughs> in Orlando for sure. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely gonna be looking forward to it. I'm just also excited to see what uh, merch we're going to have available there, too. Oh, the CEO merch? Uh, you guys probably get free merch, though, right? We get, we get some merch. Oh, we get some merch. There you go. Yeah, we get some merch. But I'm also going to be looking at some of the other stuff, too, like uh, some artwork prints, some... Uh, Maybe even some, print up some of the stuff you got. Some free gears. Nah, nah, not yet. Not yet. Getting there, but not yet. Still a work in progress. You got it. What do you think of a shove there? Uh, expletive grabber 29. <laughs> I, 
I think a shove looks a little fishy, but I think a, lar a bigger a bigger bet. But then I think we arrive at your question, is if he's going to bet big enough, what is a big enough bet when you have like $188? Right. So if he bets 100 does that look bluffy? Right. I mean, you might as well just go all in there. All right, so looks like we got head-to-head -head action here with Bob and Chris. Just waiting for... Well, you said he had diamonds, too. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, he had diamonds, and he he got a pair of jacks on the river. Right, yeah. He needed it, though. Yeah. He every piece of it. That's, that's unfortunate. And that's... Uh, <laughs> Billy. <laughs> I love Billy. <laughs> Since you contributed, we'll, Billy. Be, we'll let you have that seat for extra time. Oh, that's amazing. Mark, I I think for I think everyone almost almost everyone at the table <laughs> was in some type of hand with Bob. They were definitely involved. Yeah. I want Bob back. We all we uh, yes. So I remember it was uh, the game that Bob was on. Um, Johnny and I was common uh, for commentating it. Oh, the that's one that right. Bob was on? Yeah, so that's why right, you didn't rec recognize him. Because it was with uh, Johnny and I. Mark, how you doing? San Jose? How's the weather out there in San Jose right now? San Jose, California always has beautiful it, weather. Incredible weather. I still need to know, though. Sixty degrees, nice. That's beautiful. That's great weather. That's beautiful. Ooh. Let me know. <laughs> cold out here. Cold here. I bet. Yeah. It's cold as hell here, man. I got up this morning. <sighs> it's I'm, definitely hoodie weather. I'm never up at like seven a.m., but I was up. I walked outside because I. I had to get something out of my car. Talk about bone chilling. Yeah, that's probably the time I'm going to have to wake up tomorrow. Good Lord. Like 7 a.m., sure 7.30. Make sure you have your jacket, man. Oh, oh I, got my, I, got my, I got my hoodies and stuff yeah, like that. Sure I'll, be, I'll be ready. I'll be ready for sure. So. <laughs> yeah, Overton, we, uh, Overton, we uh, were talking about uh, Chase earlier. We were talking about uh, how he looked like uh, a young Harold Ramis. Wow, Deuce said he's playing with his mortgage payment. You wild man. Whoa. Yeah. 
He's lying. That's wild. Oh, he's lying. It's wild. Uh, Bob coming back. You know it. You're predicting Bob coming back. Bob's right there. Uh, he's right there. Yep. Oh yeah, Bob's in it. Bob, 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 Bob's been back. Bob, Bob in it. Bob's ready. Let's check, since he mentioned it. Yeah, we're gonna go yeah, take we'll, a peek. We'll go. We'll take a peek. We'll take a quick little gander. Oh, it doesn't look like it's been updated yet with uh, Bob coming back it's in. It's probably like 24, 2,500. Yeah, but uh, Aaron B. with 15 and Harry with 13. Free Willy, a shade under a K. <laughs> yes, Broadway Bob is back. Yeah, see, I mean, like you said, it's uh, – he said he had two pairs. He's going to let it go. If yep. it was Bob, he looked him up. And that's kind of where he's exploiting. Not ex yeah, he's kind of exploiting that, that player type, you know? Absolutely. Bob's the guy to kind of be betting with air. I don't think you really do that with anyone else on the table. Uh, yep. Bets in the dark, checks in the dark. Yeah. Just, l l just lets it fly. Oh, Bob has chips and Bob's ready. Yes. If there are chips, Bob is there. JDP going all in. Do speaks. <laughs> wow. You you were wondering about about do here. Yeah, do do uh do's definitely having fun. Mm -hmm. And he's thinking about calling himself a pocket force. What a wild man. What is Wait, what? Oh, she wants to buy us a shot? Uh huh. Hmm. hmm. While while the notion and gesture is kindly appreciated, we're on the clock. Yeah, we are means, on the clock, yeah. Which means I can't be getting sauced up on the clock. <laughs> but I do appreciate your girlfriend uh for, for wanting to do that for us, Free Willie. Yeah. Uh sounds like you have an amazing woman. Yeah. Uh we appreciate the gesture. Absolutely. Can't, can't get sauced up on the clock, bud. Especially with Bob on the table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. You, listen, if I ever get us sauced up with Bob playing in the stream game. <laughs> if I ever get sauced up on stream, it's not gonna happen. No. If it will be the last day I'm employed here. <laughs> I yeah, we know we know that's your, your send out party, to say the least. Hundred percent. Yeah. I'm talking LeBron James powder in the air. <laughs> I'm sending everybody off with a big bang. Absolutely. Hundred percent. But I do appreciate the gesture. It, it's always good to hear people wanting to buy us drinks and stuff. But yeah, I don't. We don't do that here. At this nah. Point. I think the other. I don't know. I'm not gonna do that. Actually, that's messy. I was gonna be real messy for a second. Uh, speculating. No, there was a calling stream. out. No, there was a stream I was watching where they were drinking in the booth. Ooh, okay. Yeah, but I'm not gonna be messy. Today. No, not at all. Nah. Free Willy though does get a pair, but oh, but Harry though. Yeah, yeah but Harry, Harry got though. Harry, Harry got though this got flop. yeah. Harry's got the flop. He's got it. He's open ended with the flush draw. Yep. I mean, they're almost dead even in equity now. Now Free Willy's gonna have the lead here, but right with so many outs, Harry has fifteen outs, mm -hmm. fifteen cards to come that will give him the best hands. Uh, and if I'm if I'm gonna pick a hand to go with, it's gonna be Harry's to the river. Yep. Harry did bet 80. <laughs> I 
Yep. Willie's just going to give it up. Yeah, Harry, I, I mean, who, I think Harry hits it on the river. Yeah. But yeah, you know, Harry's bet there basically just not, not even letting that option happen, you know. Not ace queen or king queen. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> wow. <laughs> they have some of the best just <laughs> sayings I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> wow. So three way action. Looks as though as we hit the flop. Oh, and how about trip aces for free Willie? He has everybody negative drawing dead. Yep. It's about right. Kings don't help to Harry, mm -hmm. and uh, they played a hand uh, maybe about 30 minutes into the stream, where if you remember correctly, the same situation, Free Willy made the king high flush on the turn, and I believe Harry B had jack four. Um, so here's another situation where he's essentially barreling into the player that has the hand he's representing. Now, if I'm him, I remember exactly how that hand played out. I remember exactly how he looked. I remember exact the exact look on his face because, well, the same thing's happening again. Uh -huh. Yeah, so Free Willy's going to take it down. Around the same situation as last time. Yep. So he's going to make the call. He played it terribly. How could he have played it better, Matt? Let me know. I want to hear your thoughts on that hand. Ace, queen of diamonds for Bob. So Bob's going to actually look down at a good one this time. Let's go, Bob. Bob. I don't know about a royal flush, Bob, but close, close enough. Oh, 
They're all good. They're all handsome individuals. They're all singles. Definitely a better hand for Bob there, but he's going to slowly downgrade Black back to the strength of hands. He's been playing the entire night thus far. So. Thought he played it good. Surprised he didn't re-raise. Yeah, me too. Do you like a tilt? Got a check from Bob here with six high do pair of sevens and he's up against the you know loose aggressive player at the table. He's gonna bet his middle pair. He's gonna get it through. Oh, I guess we're asking favorite movie. Favorite movies at the table. Is the straddle five dollars? The straddle's four in this game. Yep, four bucks. Uh, what age is that? Uh, 
Bob is now, I guess, giving the table tips and tricks on what he's going to do. Yeah, he might have went out to do a mid mid session vlog update. Well, Aaron, uh, Aaron has suited cards and top pair. So that's definitely going to make a difference here in this hand. Okay, so I'm, I haven't looked yet. So 25. Okay. Yeah, so I have a look. Right. You have? Yeah. Okay, wow. So that's really bad. <laughs> but it could be better now. It did get better for you. I know because you had, you had nine against me the last time. God bless you. Okay, I'm looking. Bob does pick up a tray. Obviously, tray is no good. He's going to smartly check it back. Ace on the river. Looks like pocket eight for Free Willy. The straddle is on. And it looks like JDP's looking to bump it up. He says he doesn't want to play for four. And uh, the raise doesn't do anything. Hmm. The raise does nothing. So JDP is going to flop the best hand. Jack there in front. Feels like he's really got to wait for a hand at this point. He's going to get called off with anything exactly. I think he waits for the big hand. And I uh, hope it works out for him. But Bob's having a good time. Yeah, I should probably just try to stop bluffing. I mean, yeah. You're definitely right. You're definitely right. I have no opposition there. Side, it'll be 30. <laughs> and then 
five dollars of all of it goes to the dealer. Huh? Nobody? Looks like they're playing a nuclear hand. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh. Free Willy is going to flop the mega nut draw. Uh, anybody have any straights? Yeah, so Free Willy is going to have a big chunk of the equity here across the field. Damn, I mean, that's just it. The only person in this hand that his hand is worthy analyzing is Free Willy's hand. Oh, well, until the turn comes. And now if you're Chris, you <laughs> have a straight. But you got to be scared about the flush. Uh, I won't be this bad Friday night, so it makes me feel better. Okay. Oh, he doesn't need alcohol. He needs to chill. Oh, wow. I, I mean, yeah, he might need those things, Ian. Yeah, Free Willy makes the nuts on the river. Would have been hoping for a 10 of hearts to make the royal flush, but a 7 of hearts will do. He has the stone cold nuts. The ace of the turn. Oh, we <laughs> Bob says, deal me in from the rafters. Nine set of hearts is the nuts. This is true. This is a fact. Yeah, ten of hearts would have been real good. I would have enjoyed ten of hearts. I'm going to go out to my Prius if you're like, wow, guess what, guys? Are you really? Yeah, I'm down. He says we're going to make it 35, and I think this is the hand, guys. I mean, I know it's kind of re gotten a little slow here in the past 30 minutes or an hour, but this is the hand. Bob has a premium hand. This is kind of where he wants to blast off to the moon like he normally does and see if he can get paid anything. There we go, overtone exactly. Ace, king, Bob, let's do it. Oh boy, he said seat change. Oh boy. It's happening. It's literally been. Wow. Two hours? Uh, it's right here now, Carla. Oh, okay. I was like, I thought we were. Oh, I need. Can I have one more thing? Do you have chopsticks? Can you bring me some within like the next three minutes versus like. He didn't get any action there and was uh, at the tippy top of his range. And we haven't seen him 
quote unquote at the top of his range all night long and the first time it happens, doesn't get paid. Uh oh we got some nice hands here. So we might get a good pot brewing. We need a big pot. It's been a while. Oh, and Bob's going to four bet to 156. Wow, and JDP is just shaking his head. Can't believe it. Can't believe he could potentially fold such a good hand. But it's either fold or all in. You never want to be calling, uh, leaving yourself with that much behind, and players behind you could go all in. And JDP knows that. Does make the tough lay down. Good fold there from JDP. I don't think Aaron's gonna fold though, and Bob's gonna need to hit a king. Aaron it is never ever gonna fold to, to Bob. At this point, he's gotten Bob so much he he just feels like he's Bob's rival, and he's been getting the best of him all night. I used to be a dealer and had a time where a flop was similar and the guy ended up all in with the ace high flush and the other guy had a king high straight flush and the player made me call the floor because he thought he should win. It was like a $1,500 pot. I would probably lose some professionalism points if I had a player tell me to call the floor because he didn't think he should lose when the other guy has a king high straight flush. I'd be like, what are you talking about? I'd be like, what do you mean? All right, Bob, you need a king and only a king. Uh, hearts would be good if there are only three on the board. So you are in really bad shape here, Pre. But if I think the flop comes like nine high or ten high and you just ship it, because that's your only move at this point, you should be okay. Oh, well, two nines. You did fold nines, JDP. JDP did fold nines. JDP folded quads. He did. He's not lying. I didn't even realize that. JDP folded freaking quads. I mean, in his position, it was a tough, tough call. God, that's got to tilt him. That's got to tilt him big time. <laughs> Wait, Bob just told him he had pocket queens. Holy God. I 
would have raised it there for this. I would have called you. I probably would have done it. I would have gone all in. I probably would have called, to be honest. You say hand behind. I mean, I mean, it's all in retrospect. Oh, he only looked at one? That's what I said. He only looked at one. I'm like, how do you know you had pocket queens there? Now JDP is going to be set money for the rest of the stream. Any pocket pair he gets, no matter how much. So JDP is gonna go ahead and just bet out of here. Okay, so you if you have ace nine or king nine I think that might be good. Considering no one has a pair to cry for. Greg Nelson, so the floor came over who was the card manager, laughed and told me to shift the pot and move up the next hand. Needless to say the player left the room. Yeah. I expect that to happen in any setting ever. Like, you know, floor comes over. Good posture. Very firm. Dealer, what's going on? And once they explain the situation to me, I'm definitely going to let out a little bit of a chuckle, tell the dealer to push the pot and walk away. Yeah, that's the only thing is I think you have to deviate. You know, one of, one of the biggest things about poker is adap adaptation. Uh, so, Slim Jim, you definitely make a case there. If you're Aaron... Against a player type like Bob, you know, do you just go ahead and think outside the box and just five bet shove with Ace Queen? What I love from Minnesota, the only thing, Peggy Pizza. You know what that is? I see what you mean, though. The commentary. I know he's like, let me get out of the seat. Are you about to switch? I don't know if you can get a new dealer. Uh, needs a break. A potty break. Yeah, new C3 too. This one helping me win. I'm sorry. You oh, did Bob has the best hand with a pair of with a pair of fours. Not even a pair of nines, a pair of fours. Board pairs. Checking the three. Checking the seven. Looks like he's taking a stab. And that's the only thing is when it's multi-way action with Bob in the hand, it's kind of hard to play because you have to account for him and adjust your play style for him, but also.
He's right. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the winner. Oh no. <laughs> Shit, Billy, we're done. Yeah. Oh, this gig is up. What the French <laughs> code? <laughs> 15 to go. Is, is, they're picking on me, bro. I need backup. <laughs> I'm going to shut the lights off. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not paying the light bill next week. Nope. Not going to happen. <laughs> Let's see if Best Bet can run without me. Check. That's up. You think, all, you think all that money goes to the jackpot? This guy is wild. JDP. Like, oh, look, the lights are He's got a commanding lead in this flop. We got about 45 minutes left, guys, and then we're going to go ahead and head out for the night. But we're going to try to keep the action going as long as possible. Bob's making it fun, so it's not too bad so far. I hate him. Oh, I did actually go check out my Prius, and somebody parked right next to it. And I'm like, really? Like, I parked all the way in the back. So I'm about to say, you just parked, like, by the road. You know? Yeah, so pretty close. Like and then I went to go smoke a cigarette out there, and then the guy's like, is it a lifted Prius? Yeah. <laughs> you know it, buddy. It's a lifted <laughs> Prius. That's a good example of a dealer, though. What? It's a dealer. Yeah, it's got high mm. crawl. It's not like the average crawl in a dealer. Yeah. With 13-inch safety. <laughs> no, I, I, I got a couple more. You got a Prius, too? No. Couple Whatever. Of shows. Don't lie. A couple of shows. All my dealing career is one of them. <laughs> There's, there's a good one. That's better. Didn't we pay the dealer not to talk? <laughs> <laughs> no, you missed me last time. Oh, sorry. My bad. Oh, dang it. seven. Old eight. You did really bad. Old nine. Mike, are you okay? You took the sweater off. Yeah, I'm a little hot. You had, you had a Starbucks mm -hmm. already? Or you haven't no, had it? No, it's coming. Oh, so. Yeah, it's coming. Two more? I haven't been jacked up yet. Yeah, two more. It's, it's a trap. Yeah. So let me look. I don't want you to get all jacked up. Come on. On a Vente or something, whatever they call it. I, I call it. Carl, options. Isn't Vente a size? Yeah, I always just say large. Grande. I don't order. Yeah, I always do, like just to go against the grain, you know? Oh, that's not yeah, Well, Viento yeah. is wind in Spanish. But Grande, say medium. They don't understand. I don't like coffee. I love the right, smell, I got more of but I can't do the taste. I wish I did like that. Wow. Holy Whoa. aces, we're done. I don't know. Florida. Just because you check them about five dollars, just in case somebody has all of that. There you yeah. go. Somebody can win. There's a winner at this table. We just don't not know who me. it is. We don't know who it is yet. It's not me. Oh, it's up to me. Yeah. All right, Bob. Wow. Oh, Mr. Persuasive. Talked me right into it. Yeah. Up. So now you have it. Now I have three pairs. That's awesome. In Canada, that's good. I still have three pairs. I might switch. But I don't. But I could have something good. Well, I could not. Did you check? I checked. Okay, I have a jack. Start from the show with the I have a king and a jack. So you have three pairs? I have three pairs. I told him what I had the whole time. <laughs> no slow roll. <laughs> no slow roll. No slow <laughs> The opposite. Fast roll. <laughs> what color is your free? <laughs> what color is your free? It's a silver juke. And it's my old free. Is that? Nissan, Nissan Juke. Nissan. 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 That's right. Is that the little fuse? That had a turbo in it. No, I think so. It does have a turbo. Yeah. No, I remember I when they, 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 they got like it's weird headbugs. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like, kind of like a rhino. Mark, I think there are around uh, 35 to 40 tables at Orange Park, including the pit tables. 
It's a rather small room in comparison to Jacksonville, uh, but a decent sized room. Daniel, we could definitely make that happen if you want that to be your nickname. Oh, he's the guy that eats Doritos with a, with a chopstick. Next level, next level snack eating. How many people went into that bathroom and did not wash their hands? He's one of them. <laughs> I washed before I did. You're better off Actually, taking a Bob, chip, putting it in the car, and then come. I don't even know what I have. That's 20 bucks. Oh, okay. That's all. <laughs> Yeah, I need that back. I might have gave you that a while. All right, freeway action, not too much. I'm going to let somebody else say it. Ace high is good. Yeah, no, this guy's amazing. I'm, I'm like, I almost want to just let his, his audio run for the rest of the stream. He's absolutely amazing. Isn't that actually genius? One day I was dealing tournament, and I saw him, you know, and he was like, well, I feel like uh, – going from chips or, you know, your hand going from the chips in the bag is just a little too much germs and boom. He's like, all right, chopsticks with the bag. Genius. No head on the rim for you? No, I would have called you. I know. <laughs> I'm a man of my word, but I, I promise you I know that. you would have called me. Hey, Jeff, we're here. We have anybody saddled in the I really thought you were going to win that one, and I three thought three so in the three feet. Three I thought I had quads. <laughs> I thought something was good was going to Are we getting rid of the Steelers? <laughs> <laughs> Where's Josh? Put Josh over here. He's got pretty hair. <laughs> Bob. It's the Bob show here late, guys. Like I said, we got a little while left. Bob's enjoying himself, having a good time. So am I. Looks like the rest of the table is having a pretty good time, too, so... You guys are enjoying yourselves. Remember to hit that like button. Uh, and make sure you sub. Make sure you pass and share the stream on. Once again, shouts out to Harry B. Polka for coming through, playing on the stream, having a good time. Oh, look at this. Now this should be a hand so where pre-flop Bob can get paid. So I play the way I play, and then he will automatically think I'm like shit. So I don't know if y'all played the 10 10 XL last one. I got an 18 way chop. Why? 18? 18 way? Yeah. It was 18. The chop is a turkey ball. We each took like 19. Huh? 18 way is like third place. Yeah. Yeah, it was like 1875. What was the buy on that? 110 bucks. 
Oh, oh, didn't it go so late so they were kicking everybody out or something? Got everybody to stop. Almost 2K or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, first place was like 4K, but everybody had about the same amount. Was that 1875 off 4K? It was like 1875. Holy shit. That's a... Maybe 1800 to your money, you know? Yeah, I mean, what was 18 playing? Paying. About... Oh, really, like, barely money? Barely Needs an ace or a king. There's an ace right there. That's bad for him. And he's going to bet 20 bucks again. So Bob is going to hit his over. Bob is going to get a little bit back. Outside of a 10. Back to the Rangers. I feel like you're big. Because we became friends, <laughs> and now I know I'm in frenzy to borrow money. So I'm gonna bet 45. You're good. I'm good at 45. Or I think he's no, he's gonna him and Han make the call again. This is typical Aaron behavior, but this time he's gonna be dead wrong. Uh, pay off. And call. You no, you're not gonna pay him off. Yep, got him. He's gonna do the. Oh man. Okay. I don't know if I want to make the call or not. Uh, as I cut out the chips to make the call, uh, I guess you got it. Not this time, my friend. He got him that time. Tori, can you get a shout out? Uh, why could you ever not get a shout out? I was waiting for the 10 to hit. I thought you had like 86 or whatever the other. Just am I just doing shout out Tori, or is there is there a full name? Is there a nickname? What kind of shout out am I doing? I couldn't miss it. Really, the only guy that hit the Bob is uh, so Bob is turning that loose image that has netted him a great loss uh, into that one hand of glory right there, and hopefully a few more. But yeah, he got him that time. Two bucks. Two. I got that. All it takes is for him to flop the joint and get paid. Huge double ups. That's the thing. I mean, there's a way. Don't know if he'll get there. I, I literally have. You have to. I checked our. Where are you going? Are we leaving? Are we done? Is it over? No, it's far from over. I checked. There's a shout out. Let me double check. Tori in the building. I checked. A uh, pair of trades for Bob is good. I got two Two pairs is good. Massive flops. Massive, massive flops. He only bets value when he has a hand. Everything else, everything seems exactly what it is. A bluff. This is true. Skinny Poppy. I think I know who that is. I've seen that name before. I know who that is. I don't know exactly who that is. Run a board out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then give the dealer a And then give them 15 if we're putting 15 in. I think we're putting 10 in. Okay, 10. Yeah, yeah, cool. 10 in and out, yeah. We give the dealer whatever one person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine with that. So basically, it's a flip. Just like 10 bucks, 10 bucks. We're going to win. 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 And the dealer gets 10 out of the five, right? Do you guys want to actually flip, though? Like, flip one card, go see who can beat it. Well, right. Because that's how you actually do a flip. I don't. It takes a little longer, so I don't feel like that. Well, no, what will happen is he's going to deal the cards out. Tori, did you deal it tonight? If this is dealer Tori, we're going to turn one. I flip one up, and then the next person has got to beat I guess they're doing a flip. That's how you do a flip. Harold Remus is alive. He's right there in the chat with the big hair. Yep, I haven't looked. On the flop. None of us have. Yeah, it's definitely a yakko. After the flop. In the river, we flip over two? Yep, and then we flip over the river. I'm so off the flip. We're just a sweat. Now we all flip over one. Now we all flip over one. Oh, shit, I got a seven. Chris has a queen. Oh, dude has aces. It doesn't matter, though. Oh, wow, Bob has seven. Oh, full house! Suck it! 
That would have been a massive pot. Oh, that's gross. Look at that. Look at the blind card. Oh, is there a six oh boy. Right. It's a good thing they flipped there. It would have been. He would have never seen it. Yeah, he probably would have got it in for you, not for the house. I would have gotten it for you. You know what we say? Free block. I can't. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Everybody wants to do bomb pots, but that's way more fun. Kevin, did you notice that? Bomb's like, screw it. It's like a $70 pot, but everybody has a chance to be an all-in between two players. Yeah, he's getting to do it. So for the people who are not doing it, I still would have went with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you would go with that. You had an ace. You had an ace. No, that would have been back. We want to put our money back. We want to play a $70 hand. No, I know, but if you haven't won any hands and you're behind, you're not tipping the dealer. That's the whole point of it. Well, the people who are winning should be well, why did we, why did we not take there. care of Jacob then? Why, why that doesn't mean that it's happening. Wow. Dick. Okay. Yeah, but I gave you not. I mean, I sat down and gave these dealers 10 bucks. Nobody else did that. I mean, now it's happening. <laughs> well, I sat down and gave everybody 2400 <laughs> so, <laughs> He makes a good point. Oh, he okay. makes a good point. So now it's, it's singled me out. I did. Said he looked after you bet. No, I can now, though. I can straddle or I can blind raise, right? Yes, sir. You know what? She the way straddle, re straddle. The way, the way blind raise has you on stuff. You think bomb pops are going to get you on stuff? Straddle, there's more J up there. Is that okay? I suppose. Well, so. I mean, no. Straddle four to go. By the end of this live stream, I'm gonna have to go for like four, fifteen four. cents, one dollar, and then get my massage. <laughs> Looks like calls around, and we'll keep going. Bob with deuce tray for 15 is a snap call. He's definitely going to be in. He flops. Well, with deuce. Free Willie flops top pair. up to the turn a six of spades which is going to give free willy the nut flush draw along with an ace bob here is drawing super thin we need a tray or a deuce billy could you make it happen for the nice man no you can't Fifteen. 
Oh, I see what you mean, Daniel. I definitely see what you mean. Mike, uh, and I definitely understand where you're coming from. I like my hand. Okay. I like you have two. I didn't love, love you have two best bet live cards? Yes. I love the nice open. Does that matter? How much is that? 250 bucks. Well, you know what? If I haven't been here the entire time gambling, then I probably shouldn't be here. Did you want some free money too, bro? If it's free, yeah. Dude, I've given away like 2400 bucks. It's so simple. All you have to do is call me or go all in and I'll call you Seven, dark three, got, and then I lose. I check dark. Like Checking dark with a 9-8 off. Check three. Uh -huh. I check light. Check seven. Looks like everybody's going to check. That hits Bob's range more than anything. Like, I don't think I'm ever going to be betting. They didn't. Oh, well, that's a pretty good card if you're Chris. Now you know you're good. Check three. Check seven. Check under the light. Blinded by the light. I'm going to check again, though. Check yeah, three. Check seven. No way, I'm going to get it. The trip was there. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's so bomb. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ranges are thrown out the window, so you might as well just have as much fun as possible and play outside the box. You can't play every hand, you know, GT, GTO and, and try to play ABC against the man. There's Bob betting and Chris. We got a flush draw. He's gonna stick around. Make that call, you never want your opponent to be so excited. You hear that tone in his voice? You know you're losing. You just know you're losing. I was right, though. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Monte. So I think you're, like, not good today. Been told that before. Max. Four. 
59. These two new dealers. Ones that care about their people. Oh, then let's find it. Okay. I bet on that. Josh. He's got a couple in there. Where's Josh? Oh, straddle. Brutal. I'm not looking no more. Pardon my French. French toast drink. Two card, no peak. Let's play games. I've already lost a lot. What's a little bit more? Call four. Call six. Call seven. I can win or I can call eight. Lose. Lot out. Thirty from nine. Thirty. Call one. Call I'm gonna call start. Call from the three. Call four. So I have thirty. So I hope he wins. Sure JDP against Bob against Chase. You got Gutter balled for Chase. JDP with a pair of jacks. And Bob with a hope and a dream. Hoping to catch some backdoor diamonds. Maybe. What do you pull it up on though? King on the turn. Okay, so Chase has a pretty good hand here. Kevin McCormick says over slash Uber. If he has a 75% VFIP but loses 2400, the stream will pick up his Uber cost. <laughs> I'll have to look at it. Yeah, 2-2, two, two, and Free Willy has 1,800 in front of him. That's how you know it's been a fun game. That's how you know it's been a real fun game. But once again, shouts out to Harry B for coming down slash up. He lives in Florida, but coming up, playing on the stream, I really do appreciate you, man, for taking the time. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, you ran really well tonight, so 
Definitely looking forward to the block coming out on that. And watching you tear it up, buddy. Continue. I like JDP. JDP, like, yeah, we, we keep going. I mean, Bob could if he wanted. Have you seen my cards yet? No. <laughs> they have no idea what I have. So everybody at home is like, wow. That guy's giving away a lot of money. I got him now. Oh, you did? You guys want to continue that? Yeah, I'll play. There's JDP, he's right, they can continue. You have been card dead, and JDP does have bottom boat here, so not too much, not not too many card dead scenarios here from him. So when you go home tonight and you watch this live stream tonight, I just want you to look at how many shitty cards I have. <laughs> <laughs> and it's good, it's good fair <laughs> share. That's correct. Literally, it is phenomenal. Yeah, Four on the river, Chris. You might want to stop bluffing. Dennis, I've seen Alex around on Hustle live stream lately, but they zapped me over there, so I can't I've bring them back to us. I've been sitting here, I think I've had five hands that have been like, like, there's nobody who can be here today. Yeah, yeah. Like five hands out of the 174. I got three. I'll tell you who's glad Bob came to play tonight, Aaron. Yeah, oh, Aaron's up, Aaron's up tons. He's 100%. I'm all in the dark, so you know what's happening, whatever. Make it happen. Philly said he's all in in the dark. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if Aaron will contribute any. This guy's, this guy's wild. It is uh, two hundred and forty-five dollars exactly. <laughs> and I have not looked at either one, as you can tell. This is a real decision. I mean, eight nine suited could be the nuts against Bob. The only thing that's stopping Harry B from probably making the call is that Aaron's behind. You know. You adjust your play style to Bob. You can't really figure out what Aaron will do. I mean, it's not great. It's good. So great being. We got one of those. They have eights like seven. Let's see my hand. Let's see. 
I wasn't like, I don't like, you can't pull him out. It was way live. King six of spades. I've, I've lost more money with eight. Um, That's what I'm saying. I'd have probably, I don't, I think if Aaron's not behind, I think Harry B calls. Three? Oh, wow. So now I have $285. Yeah, I think he gets in there. All in the dark. You really guys want to continue? Yeah, there you go. 285 in the dark. Can't, I can't, I can't. Did you see that? 285 in the dark. I didn't even have to put it all in. Yeah, all in. Yeah, we do have an all in. Yeah, it was in the dark. I guess he's just going to go all in until the stream's over. Win or lose $285. Well, technically, it's not going to be 285 because they're going to take it. Bob has 10 fouls. We're going to play three more hands, Bill. This doesn't count. This doesn't count. We're going to play three more after this one. Because this is so fast. I won $4. Yeah, if I didn't call it a jack, I'm not calling it. I got a five. Look at that, you're way ahead. Okay. Alright, so I'm good. What did you have? Ten eight. Ten five. Who had ten six? I lost with eight jacks. Am I straddled? I get hit with a queen. Every fucking time. Three hands, Phil. Look what time it is. We got six minutes. We got six minutes. Make it three hands. Who's back there? Huh? Who's back there talking to someone? I've been playing hole for like 35 years and eight jack is Big like one my, right here. Eight four four. Four. Eight's a bad one. Four, four. 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 Thirty-five doll hairs. Fold two. Well, you know. Call three. three. You know Bob was gonna call. Call seven. Get in there, Bob. You can call nine. Four players. Bob Strelin. Oh, so Bob's not all in again. Bob has gutter ball. But it's a good thing he didn't, because... I think if Chase folds, Harry is just going <laughs> to pick up all of his chips and just drop them in the middle of the felt. Why not make the call there? Like I said, I think with the 8-9 suited, he wanted to, but Aaron behind was just tough. I think here, it's, you just kind of got to close your eyes and do exactly that. So, Bob needs a four. Bob needs a five or, or a four, and he hits a six and makes two. <laughs> Ho, 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 ho. What are you doing, Bob? Does it matter? The deck, the deck definitely just bailed him out there. Jeez Louise, Bob, buddy. How do you do it? I mean, and listen, maybe this is a consolation prize because we all know how stuck Bob is. So maybe that's maybe this is the poker guys just playing with him a little bit. Don't make me pull up can the we atomic the clock. Pot? Can we like this? Can we end like after this hand? End with like one yeah, bomb one bomb pot at the end of this. Is that a bomb pot? To well, end it. Oh, well, uh, a I'm flip not, to I'm what? Not, See I'm what not, table not. you go to? Yeah, we <laughs> want to take a flip. He wants to flip right. How stuck is he? Bob is stuck twenty one hundred dollars. Bob is stuck twenty one hundred. So it took being down twenty one hundred to get a hand like that. So, like I said, I, if if I'm in a situation like that, if I'm Harry, I just kind of laugh it off, you know. The the guy has been more than gracious and has told the table, hey, I donated twenty one hundred dollars to you guys. Least I can do is win one, right? 
great. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be next to you can meet me next to my Prius, I promise you. <laughs> I'll be when that happens, let me know. I, I will I wanna, let you know. Yeah, I want to spectate. Like, I'm that guy. Nothing, nothing like watching somebody else just keep getting knocked out. There you go. All right, let's take a ride, shall we? We've got four-way action to a flop that's king high. So Aaron, this hand should be over. There should be no more action going any further than what Aaron bets, and then Bob, JDP, and Drew. Thank you, Bill. Fold. Great answer. I'm gonna fold because I don't have that up. It, he should be down that much. There is no, there is no mercy in hold him. You're right. And he's he's got a really good attitude about it. He's fun for the table. He's just he's just like the guy who sat in that seat before him, Pittsburgh Paul. He's just there to have some fun, blow off some steam, and have a good time. And I can tell you this much, he definitely had an above average night. Twenty. Fifteen to deal. I'm down as long as there's at least six people. There's gonna be six. Six people for you gonna do it for twenty five bucks. Harry, take a break. Yeah, he said that. You're on break. Bill, you're leaving? Yeah, that's it. And then we're going to split it between you two. This one we're going to split. Is that cool? Y'all split that last tip? Have a good night, sir. It was nice playing with you. So we're not looking at our hands, right? My green? I just like the slack, you know. Yeah, Chase is out. Harold's done for tonight. I, I just think it's fun that you everybody looks at the, the card, the board. I'm not looking at nothing. Keep it he, said, he said he's not looking at nothing. Oh, I love the win. So what do I do now? Uh, Bob has a gutter ball. All right, so we got a pair and a flush draw for do. Oh, he's got top pair. I'll take a five. Five of diamonds. Five of diamonds. Oh, boy, he's going to need a gut. He did hit the five. Bob wins. I have a shot. Nuts. Bob does have, well, the board's paired. But he has the effective nuts. Uh, so that's going to be the final hand for tonight. They're going to shift the pot directly to Bob. Bob has been more than a breath of fresh air tonight for all the players on this table. Thank you for playing. Shouts out to Aaron. Also, guys, remember, if you want to donate, head on over to that uh, website that I pinned in the chat, grindforlife.org. Harry B., shout out to you, man. If you ever want to come back, you are more than welcome. Just let me know. Uh, for me and Ryan, we'll be back tomorrow with the charity event. And... Uh, other than that, we're signing off. You guys keep rocking on. See you tomorrow.